This is a HeadGum Podcast. This week on the program, how many dick jokes can you squeeze into one Hollywood blockbuster? It's Fast and Furious presents Colin Hobbs and Shaw. I'm Andrew Jupin. <laughs> Steven Sadak. Chris Cabin. Eric Shawska. And we hate movies. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to We Hate Movies. Thank you for tuning in. As always, we are a comedy show that often talks about shitty movies. And here we are today talking about Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw, directed by David Leiter. This is the final mm-hmm. film of our worst of 2019. It's so indeed. Dave, I, I, David Leitered his farts on Is it fire? David Leach? Did I make that up? Leach? I, I believe it was Leiter. I it's can look David up again. Maybe Lean. It, did I type this it wrong? This movie's from 1945. <laughs> Dietrich Leiter. <laughs> While he's looking that up, I want to quickly mention that we. This David is a, Leach. Yeah. L e i t c h. Sorry was about that. Quicker than I expected. Sorry, Davy. <laughs> so this is a Fast and Furious presents film. Yes. There's a Fast and the Furious presents cartoon. That's yes. right. That what is it called? Spy Spy Hunters. Spy Babies. Spy Racers. Spy Racers. Spy Racers. It's on Netflix. Spy Babies. Well, guess what? We did an Animation Damnation episode on that. Indeed. So if you want more F and F with your F and F. Yeah. Get your F and ass to our Patreon, <laughs> patreon.com slash we hate movies. And we also did for our We Love Movies Month, uh, we did the other Fast and the Furious movie this year, mm-hmm. which is Fast and the Furious Presents Once Upon a Time in mm-hmm. Hollywood. Yep. That's right. Quentin Tarantino Booth, movie. Amaze is my favorite. Fast and the Furious character? By far, yeah, yeah. exactly. No, uh, we did uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood for the We Love Movies. Uh, that's at our five dollar level. You can get all that. That's all yeah. out, baby. Uh, we also talked about Emperor Palpatine on our Gleep Glossary. Mm-hmm. Anyway. We do a lot of content I did, I, these I, days. Nod. I was going to say, I want to <laughs> issue a correction already for this episode. Okay. Sure. Okay. It's not dick jokes. It's ball jokes. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, but, it's, but, it's of, but it's like tiny dick jokes. There's like, a lot of how, t- how tiny is your fucking dick, The Rock? I <laughs> yeah. don't know, Jason Statham. How tiny is your but dick? You put these guys' heads together, and it does look like a pair of testicles. <laughs> it does. Yeah, just two bald Do, dudes standing yeah, next to each other. It, it is interesting it. that it's a it's a bald buddy comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Oi, we're stuck in this ball sack together, aren't we? <laughs> oh, fuck. You think Jason Statham's like, or uh, Jason Alexander's fucking furious? Oh, dude, he should be the he should be the Definitely. guy at the end, the villain. Oh fuck yeah, he's the secret like voice behind everything, the director or whatever the hell he's called. The, the oh, does of, he have a name? I no, think they it's call it, the head of uh, Ecto Cooler or whatever the fuck. Here's the thing: if you're gonna have a, a secret spy organization, mm-hmm. make it something everyone in your cast could say consistently. Because it's and it's, yep. this, it's called Etion or Et. E O N. Yeah. And some people call it Etienne. Some people are calling it Etienne, Etienne. And I'm like, I don't know what this thing is. I was is. calling it the extraterrestrial. <laughs> Smart. E-T, the extraterrestrial. Just, and the, but that's the whole organization. I thought that was just the name of the place that they break into. No, I don't no, know. no. I that's, don't know. That's, 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 called that's the syndicate, essentially, is oh. these Etienne people. Yeah, it's just call it or Etion. A or, fucking nefarious animal. Yes, spider. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You're the mm-hmm. spider company. Yes, right. exactly. The yeah. silver wolf. Because like, it's, oh, ju- cool. it's just like it's like a specter thing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. That's, right. that's all it is. But I don't even know what. It, it, yeah, it's just such a, a nothing name for a nothing idea. <laughs> and if it, 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 it doesn't matter, like no. it, I just it's Idris Elba's character. Right, he just has this company behind him. I um watched. I very. Rare, I never do this actually. For wow. the show. Oh, he never does this. Uh, What's this I bathe. Got, <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> say take a shower. <laughs> Wash me bowls. No, I. I actually like. I was watching this movie, and my wife came home in the middle of it. Oh my god! What are you watching? <laughs> no, and it was like she was like, "Oh hey, how long? Was, how how much is left?" It was an hour. And the last note that I wrote in my notes was glib, meaningless shit. And I turned it off and I was like, you know what? I'll finish it tomorrow. Let's just watch regular TV for a while. I needed nice. I yeah. needed a yeah. break. I yeah. really needed a break from this movie. I made the fatal mistake of I was watching it. Mm-hmm. This is weird. I was watching it very similarly. Chelsea came home mm-hmm. and, you know, she's like doing some stuff. I like kind of had it on. And then she's like, I'm going to go to bed. And I was like, all right. I paused it. Yeah. Just everybody's getting ready for bed and whatnot. 
70 minutes. 70. And I was like certain (laughs) just due to like the situation that they found themselves in. I was like, well, this is it. This is the last big action scene. Yeah. So the movie's got a 70, seven, zero, not, <laughs> not one, seven, seven, zero. This is so weird because I, I was watching it too. Uh-huh. My wife comes home and I pause it and she just looks at TV, looks at me and says, she says, you're wasting your fucking life. <laughs> oh, weird. <laughs> Wait, I was like, oh. Oh, is that why you guys got divorced this week? Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Condolences. And everybody know. <laughs> this is how let the roll out. <laughs> no, they didn't. My lawyer will, will know next. So this is the first Fast and Furious spinoff film, right? Correct. Yes. And this actually was, and I was reading up on this, was the cause of the tensions that we, what we call the troubles between sure. Vin Diesel and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The right. real troubles. Yes. <laughs> Because, like, Vin Diesel was fucking furious. He was fast and he was furious. Right. That they were making a Fast and Furious without him. But, like, I'm sorry, Vin Diesel. Like, The Rock and Statham get this spinoff or whatever. Fast and Furious is still your franchise, dude. It is the fucking Vin Diesel show. Are you eating probably- off my plate? You're eating <laughs> off my plate over there. Yeah. I think probably part of it was, like, what, I don't get a new producer credit? You know oh, what I mean? Like one of those things. Shit. How about a two second cameo? <laughs> you did me dirty. Oh, wait, now it's doing Jesse Venture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could enough. be in Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaft. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Yeah, I could be the shaft. Where's the hole you want me to go into? Oh, these are the two balls. I understand. <laughs> wow, that's some great writing. You got, all right, so you got one bald guy and another bald guy. Loving it. What about a third bald guy with a skullet that kind of <laughs> looks like a bizarre deflated scarecrow at this point? <laughs> Have you seen me lately? Look, Have you really looked at me? All I'm saying, buddy, you're having this action movie with some bald guys. Nary a rat tail to be found. Just putting it out there. Yeah, picture this. They're doing their action set piece, and then suddenly me, Jesse, walks in wearing a tie-dye t-shirt looking like a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I look like I just woke up, and I'm like, hey, guys, who wants seconds? <laughs> you, Second, you you would set up the setup for that. I don't know no. what a second By the would. way, then you instantly start writing the screenplay for Fast and Furious Presents, colon, sloppy seconds. <laughs> you can don't. actually uh, cut my uh, cost in half, but I need to have uh, RT in the corner of all my scenes. <laughs> That's right. And don't forget, I still got pull in this town. I've got Oliver Stone's son's phone number. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Buford Stone is just waiting for me. He hosts. He was one of the hosts of his TV show, oh, Conspiracy really? Theory. <laughs> Oliver Stone's son. Yeah. So this is Jason Statham as his uh, Deckard Shaw character, and uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson as Luke Hobbs. Uh, both, of course, skyrocketed to to fame and popularity in these Fast and Furious movies. Congrats, guys! I, I don't understand why this is a Fast and Furious movie. These are two characters. Yep. It's not like because um, they're from those movies. Well, yeah, I get that, yeah. but I mean, like, these are two guys that like. It's not like it's Daniel Day Lewis and like the man he changed. Oh man, when I see Jason Statham as Deckard Shaw, I know he's Deckard Shaw. Like. And the movie is so removed from all the Fast and Furious stuff, you'd be better off calling it Blaine and Blaine and Johnson. Well, because here's the thing, and Chelsea said the same thing because I I had it on for a little bit while she was still in the room, and she was like, "Why are they playing these characters?" And that's exactly right. You could take the two of them and just make a movie where they're just buds, and it's because listen. The Rock, I think, has a little more range than Jason Statham. Jason Statham has been playing the exact same character for going on 30 years. (laughs) He's very good at it. I give him that credit. He's very good at it, but it's the same fucking thing. And more or less as you know, Dwayne Johnson has too. Like you could just make a buddy action movie. Because the other thing Mm -hmm. is the 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 tone of this movie is not in the tone of a Fast and the Furious yeah, movie. It's a science fiction movie, and those other movies are not science fiction you need movies. That's a yeah. franchise you are, to attach it to. That's, of course, uh, that's life now. You're completely forgetting. It's illegal to make a movie that does already have an IPO. Yeah. It yeah, already exactly. has to exist. If yeah. not, it's fucking illegal. You go to jail. Just do a buddy <laughs> comedy with them. Put them in Star Wars. You're looking to go to jail, buddy. <laughs> Remake what? Tango in Cash. 
anything. Yeah, you could remake Tango and Cash. But, I mean, Steve, you're right, though. The science fiction element, which is all based around Idris Elba's yeah. character of Brixton. Oh, guns of Brixton. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Like, he's got guns in this, too. <laughs> he's got guns. He's got fucking Terminator vision, for Christ's sake. <laughs> that song's about him. It's not this. It's, it's not. And again, this franchise. Hashtag not my F and F. This franchise started with stealing VCRs, and now we've got fucking <laughs> super scientists. Uh, this That's, franchise is the weirdest thing that has ever existed. I will say the thing that connects this most directly to the rest it's, of it is people, sister fucking. Yes, you're right. <laughs> yes. The sister yep. fucking empire expands because this movie is all about sister fucking. Let me tell you something. Component. I would watch Vanessa Kirby fuck Dwayne Johnson time and time again, man. Sure. Bring on the sex just scene is there. Do a two hour remake so, of yeah. the sex scene from The Room with them two. <laughs> and I'm all in. Release a sex tape in the theater, you cowards. You could call it a porno. <laughs> and, and you could put it out in. A porno theater. Do they have premieres for dirty movies? <laughs> Fast they do. They're fun. Eric, look forward to look forward to Eric's uh, new show, The Deuce Twenty Twenty. <laughs> it's it's very different from what you're expecting. It's just me dropping a deuce. <laughs> this is you taking his shit for two hours. It's also do, known as toilet time. <laughs> Demanding that the Empire Twenty Five turn back into a porno theater. So this- <laughs> it would only improve that theater is trash on Forty Second Street. If you're ever in New York City, do not go to the Empire Twenty Five. Uh-huh. It would certainly be fucking cleaner if it was a porno exactly. theater. Exactly. The second you get to New York City, get off Forty Second Street entirely. Like, exactly. Yeah. It's not fun. It's not. Yeah, there's it's nothing. Trash. There's nothing for you there. You know what? You got a fucking gap at home. You know what else you have at home? A Red Lobster. It looked like more than that, but that's actually all Escape from New York is. It's trying to get out. <laughs> Of 42nd Street. <laughs> Dude, yeah, escape from Midtown, man. Look out. Snake, Blitzk- Snake Blitzkin's gonna go save the president's daughter from 42nd Street. You're hanging off the fucking Eminem Tower. <laughs> He's doing a shootout with Isaac Hayes in the Bubba Gump restaurant. <laughs> He's dodging all these fucking Elmos. Oh, uh, so, so, yeah, these are characters we know, and now it's like, what is their life like when they're not fucking road raging with Vin Diesel and friends? And it's pretty much the same thing, I guess. I will say this movie kind of, ha- like, I'm not a Fast and the Furious guy at all. This movie kind of had me for the first 10 minutes. Yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. We're setting up the world. This is fun. Right. Seeing them get ready in the similar manner, but he's evil so or whatever. He's British, so he's evil. He's, <laughs> yeah. got, all, everything, he's got like black bed sheets. Well, because he was a villain. And I, he's again, initially not... the villain or right. a villain. He's, a vil- he's Luke Evans' brother who is the first major villain. In part three, I think, that's is where that part... starts. The Tokyo Drifting? No, no, no. That... No? The Shaw stuff starts happening in six. Okay. okay. Anyway, and then yeah. The Rock's got the whole like sunny California vibe, and it, it it's a it's a cute pairing. Honestly, it is. Yeah, it is. I I like both of these guys enough. I could see them in an action movie, but um, then yeah. it just drag. It just <laughs> boy, like there's a point where mindless action just becomes total paint dry. Just I'm, mindless. Period. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of a sucker for a split screen. No matter. I what. love split yeah. screen. <laughs> Thank it's you. I will great. say it. <laughs> I'm a sucker for it. So yeah, it's like him getting up and him getting up. And like for some reason they both go on a separate adventure. I forget what the impetus is. I guess it doesn't they're, matter. I think it's just like they're both getting assignments. This yeah. is like their work. You uh, see the rock take. Two, he's like going through this bar to find whomever he needs to find some informant or whatever. Yeah, and takes two shots of whiskey at the same time. Nice. Uh-huh. It would be amazing if he just threw up. If he just because he, <laughs> he did that, he's like he's like being badass. Oh fuck! Oh, ah! I forgot today was chest day. Oh. <laughs> Just because I follow Dwayne Johnson on Instagram, I can tell you that was probably supposed to be tequila. Oh, okay. That makes, big tequila guy. That makes more sense. But even yeah. still, even more so, I'm exactly. throwing Dude, up. the fucking heartburn, I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> And then I get it. I, look, I see the size of the guy, and like he's probably got insane tolerance, but yeah. still, like... I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, get down right ahead. Yeah. He's, like fight, he's like fighting like tattoo parlor guys, and he starts to torture one of them. There's a there's a girl that has um tattoos on her chest, and he oh. says nice tats. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, all right, it feels like an '80s movie. Almost. It, does. it definitely does, and that's what I mean. That's what this is. It's Tango and Cash without Tango or a Cash right. or Jack yeah. Palin. Oh, it's <laughs> Tango or Cash. It's Hobbs. 
and Shaw. <laughs> Tango and Cash, if it was not allowed to just be 95 minutes. <laughs> I'm yeah. a Jack Pallet Superman. <laughs> <laughs> it's him in a mech suit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, dude. yeah I'm a, a super strength. <laughs> Look, you just have him in a mech suit the entire time. It's fucking Tarkin Town. Like, just make it now. Yes. Yes. One of us does the voice of it. You could pass it off as Jack Palance is back in a movie. <laughs> yeah, he beats the shit up all these people and then just like a stiff breeze and he just coughs to death. <laughs> also, it's important to point out that before their days oh, begin, we do get a cold open with Vanessa Kirby. Is uh, oh, yes. She's she's Hattie working with Shaw. MI6. Uh, yeah, Hattie Shaw. And uh, there, there's a mission that goes tits up. They're trying to get this virus. She injects it into herself and becomes like the carrier like, of it. This is all like, Totally fine. I'm like Regular on board, yeah, and like Idris Elba. Idris, did El- I say that right? Elba. Idris Elba. Idris Elba. All right, did I say elbow? <laughs> I Idris Elba shows up, and he's like fucking shit up. And I'm like, all right, cool. You know, this is the the movie is restrained at this point, d- despite we have someone infecting themselves with a super virus to con- to to transport it. I feel like the super virus is fine. I think that the mech suit and the eyeball and the fucking biological the whatever fucking spine well, implant makes no sense and it, it has nothing to do with this movie. Yeah. True. Also though, I think he's a straight up zombie. Yeah. Because he talks later in the movie about how Shaw shot him twice in the face and also in the chest or something. Like that dude's dead. Yeah, it's but Alex like Murphy, dude. in Fast and Furious talk, that's like like cutting yourself shaving. <laughs> that's See, like I got yeah. my head blown off. Oh, that's sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Put a little <laughs> band aid on it. Like the starting of this movie, them doing their separate missions. Uh, Shaw like beats the shit out of some dude at like a fancy party in yeah. London and yeah. throws him out the window and hangs him there with a with like a curtain sheet or something. I'm like, okay, I'm on board. And if this movie was like. 90 minutes i would yeah. probably say i like this movie if yep. it was cut down to 90 minutes it's this actually movie's three movies in a movie speaking about laws it's actually illegal eric to make a movie that yeah. is under two hours oh, it's right, just, it, it, we, we yeah. passed that law for- is two hours and 16 minutes and it feels like three it really feels yeah, like really a solid three like a because three. the movie changes so many times to different like not just different locales but different movies entirely absolutely that i just get Dizzy and bored at we the get, same time. We get cameos by actors that try to join the franchise. It is obnoxious as fuck. Well, that, that's we can get to Ryan Reynolds in this movie. Yeah, which he, was he in another one of them? Because no. it not. sounded like he had a pre-established no. relationship. No, with but that's Rock what they're trying Trancer. to do. They're trying to shoehorn yes. him in as if he was there. Really? The whole time. I could have sworn because I tried to rewatch all of them and I found it disturbingly bad. So I didn't finish it. I got to I got I finished six, I think, and then that's when I stopped. And then I saw eight for this show. I don't know yeah, what that is. Seven and times. you keep on missing the good one, which is seven. It's the only good one. I'm not gonna watch it. I, I refuse. <laughs> I, I, you know what, dude? I just refuse. I don't like any of these movies. I've seen four of them. I've seen one, two, three, and eight, whichever the one we did for yeah, yeah, the eight. show. And now this. and and now this. And I'm just I'm totally fine I skipping the, the quote unquote good ones. I think five I think five and six were better than the other ones I yes. had seen, but but they're still contemptible still in, my eyes, in my well, eyes. Well, I understand why you think Ryan Reynolds was a character already established because he's playing the same character in every movie he's in now. He's just it's Deadpool. True. Yep. And it's, like, get, it's getting really annoying. We almost did Six Underground for the show, and he's just Deadpooling all over that. Michael Bay's Deadpool, which will kill you. Um, <laughs> yeah, so he's like the, I guess, like a CIA contact or something for The Rock. Yes. Yeah. And meanwhile, the CIA contact for Shaw is Rob, Rob Delaney, Delaney, which right. I do like seeing him Love back him. in a big movie. He's, but it sucks, though. Because it's, it's just a reunion. It's, yes, it's Deadpool. Yeah, it's yeah. a Deadpool it's like, 2 reunion. Come on. And they're talking to each other. That's, that's yeah. a problem. In a movie that is this long with so many di- dis- the, the, the dispora of these characters, like why? <laughs> you, you, you could have them both in there, but you don't have to have them talking to each other. I yeah. also don't think that like, but the the problem is like this scene is like fifteen minutes. Why? Because Ryan Reynolds is fucking hilarious, guys. Oh yeah, don't you want to hear Ryan Reynolds make fucking jokes about the end of Game of Thrones to date this in a fucking amber glass? Listen, note to screenwriters, man, you have to stop doing shit like this yes. because it instantly 
sticks your film in amber in a bad way. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it was bad improv. Like he was just, you know, doing it. He's like, he watched Game of Thrones the other night, and he's like, oh man, remember the end of Game of Thrones? Bop, bop, bop. Could you yeah. imagine if like Armageddon stopped dead for Bruce Willis being like, no, no, Ben Affleck, you're not coming up on this rig with me. I'm going to space by myself. You're staying with my little girl. By the way, the end of Seinfeld, that finale episode, disappointing. <laughs> Goodbye. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Gotta go home and catch Dream On on HBO. <laughs> It's just it just dates it terribly, and it honestly, it wasn't even that long ago since Game of Thrones ended, and I'm just like I'm out of the movie. Yep. you just push Plus, me out of the movie, and you don't. It's not like that becomes a character thing because everybody knows Game of Thrones. Yes, like it's not like if he was talking about John from Cincinnati, <laughs> then that's something and personal. There's a repli- there's a reprisal of the Game of Thrones at yep. the end. In one of the six stinger scenes, David Milch's phone just vibrated because he said John from Cincinnati. And he's like, honey, <laughs> it happened. <laughs> Told you. No, no, they're not talking about Deadwood. John from Cincinnati. <laughs> I And the thing about this, so like The Rock takes his daughter, uh, who's been previously established in the other movies, right? Yeah. Uh, to, to breakfast, and they're like having a cute little time together she's talking about the family tree is empty she doesn't know about it and he's like yeah well that's kind of tough and then (laughs) ryan reynolds comes in as the cia guy and the thing is like one non sequitur is fine two non sequitur is okay but like when you're doing like a whole scene of it like the the language stops to matter. You know what I mean? You're talking well, about Game of Thrones. You're talking about like it just, stabbing a guy with a brick. And he's talking also about talking bleeding about this way and the other way. The tattoos he got to match the rock. So I was like, oh, what life? Like what? What life debt does he owe the rock? Yeah. Was that the stinger of no, the last movie? No, he's just having movie? fun, dude. He's just having fun. He's just Brian yeah. Reynolds having much. fun. It just seems like you're not brave enough to put a non sequitur with a non sequitur, Steve, <laughs> which is true bravery in comedy. And it's but it's just such a dumb joke too, because it's like, yes, yeah, like Dwayne Johnson is famous for having his big like Samoan tattoo on yeah. his chest and into his shoulder and whatever. And it's just that tattoo. Like yeah. specific, it's like his most famous one outside of the fucking bull one, which yeah. I don't think even looks the same anymore as when he was wrestling. But like it's just so dumb. So it's, it's like dumb. three fucking thuds in a row and then he still has to tell him like what the mission is. Exactly. Like and- the the big joke that The Rock has is he eats a lot. Yeah. Do you see the size of that guy? He must eat so much. <laughs> Holy shit. That was a stack of pancakes the size of my son. 1,000 pancakes. <laughs> he probably does eat like that. I think I saw one of his Instagrams with a bunch of pizzas. Mm-hmm. He Well, he does. He posts 30 like pizzas cheat days. in 50 cheat days. When he has a cheat day. Those no, that you're thinking of Papa John. Oh, Schnatter. the day of reckoning. And he <laughs> says cheat day in the movie. Yeah, so you're just does. making a movie out of your Instagram feed at this point. Yeah. He is. And I mean, like the, the Simone stuff at the end of the movie, which is fine. It's another movie. The but end it's of like, the movie? The end of the movie. It's kind of like... <sighs> Towards the end, end it's of the, the last fifty to fifty-five <laughs> minutes the, of this movie. That's the thing; is like they get to they get to Samoa. You pause it; it'll say there's 45, 50 minutes left. Yeah. for sure, outrageous. But again, like that's not. It doesn't necessarily need to be this character. You like The Rock should make an action movie in Samoa. Great idea. Yeah, yeah. not this movie. You know yep. what I mean? Like yeah. make it like, make it about a, a Samoan sheriff, or and make, like that's fucking or, badass. Call it Samoan sheriff, by the way, because that <laughs> fucking kicks ass. <laughs> or if you must have Hobbs and Shaw show up there, guess what? That's what Hobbs and Shaw Two is for. Exactly. Yes. Thank you. Make one movie at a time, guys. And let's exactly. pick locations and stay there. I don't I, like. I don't need to see fifty cities in one movie. Because guess what? Now I'm confused and angry. Yes. Yeah. Even the Bond movies, which are like notorious globe hopping adventures, yeah. visit fewer parts of the world than this movie. Well, it's it's the TVification of movies, like. Each one of these settings is an episode of Hobbs and Shaw, the Netflix series. Sure, yeah, sure. Leading. So it'd be a six series, except for now you just turn it into a two and a half hour fucking you know, movie. What's crazy about that idea is like if this was cut up like like The Mandalorian or like Disney yeah, Plus, yeah. if this was a streaming show, it might actually be good. Yeah. You got the star power, you do one big car chaser set piece, an episode, and yep. we're out of there. You're not exhausted by the time the movie's exactly. over with. It's an endurance trial, especially with these trailers these days, guys. Oh, God. <laughs> but like, yeah. Oh, wait. I should say also just w- another note about the globe hopping. Learn something from that last Die Hard movie. 
just a fucking bombed out nothing location that's supposed to be the Ukraine is yeah. not exciting now. <laughs> Can we just stop that, please? Oh, we're going to Moscow. Well, also, like, and we'll get there, but it causes so many logistical problems with the movie when they go to Moscow. They, Wait, they're in Moscow in this movie, too? Yeah, they go to Moscow, right? Or, or is it, they go to Russia. The Ukraine. Oh, is it Ukraine? I'm sorry. They go to the U- oh, Ukraine. The Ukraine is where, like, Idris Elba. Got it. Okay. The big the chase s- with the truck. I got, I got mixed acts. Yeah. You mean, okay, so, but thank you for covering our bases. For few, for listeners in the future, it will be Russia. <laughs> <laughs> there was once this totally independent country yeah. called the Ukraine. In 2020, right happened. now, we're recording this. It also, Steve, Ukraine. were you thinking, because we're back to back, we just recorded yeah. our episode on yesterday in where they do go to Moscow. Yes, yeah, so, so wait, the, the Rock wakes up and the mm-hmm. Beatles don't exist in this movie, right? The Rock yeah. wakes up and uh, Fast and Furious doesn't exist. <laughs> Vin Diesel has been exist- <laughs> erased from existence. So he has to recreate it by doing a movie doing useless fucking car chases and set pieces oh no he only covers the ringo solo material (laughs) so Uh, reynolds is uh his cia contact he's like guess what there is this virus that makes your your insides bleed and all this stuff it's gonna it's the end of the world man and like this is after 20 minutes of fucking vamping Uh, he finally gets down (laughs) to it uh about uh and you have to go to england to to stop this virus and his daughter's like, go, go for it, dad. Buy movie. Yeah. And so he, he leaves. Well, and- he changed his daughter to a radiator. Then he. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan Reynolds at the same, uh, 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 Rob Delaney at the same time is, is talking to uh, Jason Statham. Like your sister has been injected with this virus. You've got to find her, blah, blah, blah. Like, right. You and you know, like there's a lot of bravado machismo shit going around. Yes. Well, there's a thing though, because I, I think one, first of all, the preview tells you that she's the sister. Uh-huh. The movie hasn't let that slip. Yet. Oh, right. Yeah. Because like he goes, like Shaw goes and meets with Helen Mirren, who's the mother. Uh, she's in jail from the previous film. Okay, still. so that was the previous. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that you saw that movie. Mm, don't remember. <laughs> I'll she, have to listen to myself talk about it on this podcast to refresh. Actually, my there you go. Actually, it's her character from Red. Oh, and of they course, yeah. yeah. The, right, right, right. the Red Extended Universe. <laughs> Just shove Red into Fast and Furious. Now what? you could take your grandma to the movies. <laughs> it's like the monster from Akira. It just starts taking all the things and making it part of its own mass. But so Definitely. Rob Delaney is presenting it like I think I believe it's a thing where it's like he's showing yes. him pictures, but you can't see who. Oh, it is. it's like yeah, it's like oh, this woman's in trouble. Or, yeah, you know, stop just it. saying this is the person with the virus. Blah blah blah. We got to talk about it a little bit. So he's like, oh, mom, hey, mom, remember when mom. I was? She's like, um, you know, why don't you ever talk to your sister? A, they never bring up the bu- brother until the very end of the movie. Yeah, it's it, and they keep showing these scenes of the the brother and the sister growing up together. The the other brother isn't there Luke at all. Luke Evans is. F- Fucked out of the memories entirely. And there's like a three-year difference between the two. Maybe the older boy is like 12 and the girl is eight. Three or four-year difference. There is a 20-something year difference between Jason Statham yes. and Vanessa Kirby. <laughs> and it's fucking crazy that yes. they get away with this oh, in this you, movie. You know, you kids used to always name your little plots. Oh, yeah, the Keith Moon. That's when we blew up a safe and it, we named it that because... It was just like music blowing my brains out. But it's, <laughs> and just, it's just so stupid. And it's like fucking 25-year-old Jason Statham and a baby. <laughs> that's what it should, that's what really what it should be. Well, here, here it is, everybody. Jason Statham, born in the year of our Lord, 1967. Uh-huh. Vanessa Kirby did not touch down on this rock <laughs> until spring of 1988. <laughs> it's, what? It's cra- and they're like in this in these flashbacks. They're like the same age. Jesus, Practic- it's like oh yeah. Remember when you were a college student and I was born and you got upset? <laughs> right, remember, also, Helen Mirren's like, hey, remember when I was fifty eight and pregnant? <laughs> Oi, wait, you're telling me that I was born during Star Trek, the original series, and she was born during the Next Generation? <laughs> <laughs> and it, I mean, like we do that all the time. It's kind of the weirdest way that we because we always do. In movies like uh, speaking of Ryan Reynolds, that Green Lantern movie, him and Blake Lively like went to grade school together and oh, right. the with same, Peter Sars, quote unquote, the same age. Like it's that thing where like men have to age down to be anywhere near these incredibly young women that we yes. have to hire in, in movies. In Hollywood, like men are Benjamin Buttoning. Yes, yeah. 
<laughs> and I mean, like, yeah, Statham, Statham looks great. He doesn't look like he's 50 years old. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he looks great for his yeah, age. Yeah, he looks like he's 48 years old. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Just to complete the family, by the way, Luke Evans was born in 1979. Okay. So that's, like, feasible Ooh, enough, I middle guess. Middle child. 10 years apart. I'm, ten, I'm 10 years apart from my older sister. Yeah. So that, you know. That one's, I guess, something. It's, did you guys used to blow up safes together? We did constantly robbing banks. All. Did, you, did you, you give them cheeky names, you little capers? Yeah, did you call it the Travis Barker? <laughs> the Travis <laughs> Barker, the Pee Wee Herman, the, <laughs> the Billy Joe Armstrong. <laughs> all those all those pranks he used to pull. Uh, oh, yeah, we always pulled off the Mighty Mighty Boss tone. That oh, yeah. For well, like, great one. actually, great point now. Like, he's calling it the Keith Moon. Yeah. Like, what fucking year was this safe? <laughs> exactly. Well, exactly. How old is this girl supposed to be exactly. in this movie? I would love to know. I how guess old. she's supposed to be older than she is in real life. Yeah, she gets aged up. I guess. I like maybe they know. met in the middle where she, they're both forty. Okay. <laughs> like I don't understand. Where's the Rock born? <laughs> Uh, the Rock, or yeah, because because all... she's got this relationship with the Rock in the movie that they're going to be the sister fucking tr- double. Like He's got to be in his mid to late forties, I, w- I would say, probably because she was born in eighty eight. So that make her thirty one. Uh, very uh, young, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Young, young child. Dwayne the Rock Johnson was born in. Come on, the internet. Let's oh, fucking boy. go already. Oh, it's giving you Alcatraz's birthday <laughs> in nineteen seventy two. Yes, it's okay. like forty seven. But I'm just saying they're they're romantically it, entangled. Yes, and of there's, course, they there's are. a bit of an age gap there. Forty seven and thirty five. What is she? 34, 30, oh, 31. Oh, 31. Yeah, it's a it's a sixteen year difference. It's yeah, it's not it's nothing. A, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's getting there. You, you, it's you weird, drive my, a truck weird, through it. We're in Michael Douglas territory. <laughs> All of this to say, though, <laughs> that those fucking flashbacks are stupid as yes, shit. It doesn't make any sense. So uh, the Rock goes to England, uh, and he. When does he meet up with Deckard Shaw? Is it right here? Because no. the idea is like, oh, because after these, they're both oh. set on their missions. Yeah. Rob Delaney oh, and uh, Ryan Reynolds talk to each other. More Reynolds vamping. Yes. And he's like, yeah, we're going to get him together. And they're the only two that's going to save the world. And we're talking about, we say save the world a lot in yep. this movie. Of course. Set your stakes lower. Like, hey, there's a there's a briefcase with all this money and blah, blah, blah. Yes. To, to be fair, in the Fast and Furious franchise, every week the world's about to end. Like, literally every single week. Because he even says, The Rock has I saved the world four times already. And it's like, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. I don't care. Those, those were the four Fast and Furious movies. That Maybe it's gotten. time for the world to end. <laughs> sure. If we're constantly on the brink like this. Yeah. But there's even an obnoxious Ryan Reynolds thing where he's like, hey, Rob Delaney, do you think it's possible that my guy's not going to like your uh, guy? Yeah. <laughs> and then yep. split screen. No fucking way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They very much get the pointed, the one fuck. I, actually, it's interesting, MPAA wise, you can have two people saying fuck at the same time. And technically, it's two fucks. But you got the one because they said it at the same uh, time. Oh, yeah. Keep the PG-13 rating. That's, that, that's a bad day for, like, the audio editor. Like, <laughs> like I got to get it right the same time. Yeah, oh, no harmonize. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, we're going to get that R rating and we're totally fucked. Also, uh, name, yeah. rate this movie R. Like, the, the, that's my other yep. question. Is What age range is this movie for? Because I think uh, it's for children. 13, yeah. Yeah, I think it's for it literal children. It it's, is. It's yeah. 13 to 18 and with, like, complete losers, 13 <laughs> to 75. No, here's... <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> I gotta get my dentures out and go see my Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> here's the thing, though. You just... You... Lower the stakes enough, you make it not gory, you reduce the language, all of that stuff. You lower the bar so that 13-year-olds can go into the theater for it, but yeah. it still has everything else that, like, older adults will watch this sure. movie. Yeah. I mean, it's a total... Yeah, and then there's cars, thing. and there's ladies, and there's explosions. Just like this whole franchise. Yeah, yes. the 13 to 75 range, like I said. I the, want brains I was flying. just trying to say it without <laughs> calling people who like this fucking stupid like you were... <laughs> This, I mean, this franchise really has done it to me. Like, I cannot fucking stand it anymore. They got to stop making these movies. I'm sorry. Well, because yeah. they, they ain't gonna, buddy. I know. They've gone so, look at that, and that's that's what we got in our last movie with Cipher and all that stuff. Uh, We've ugh. where the stakes are so insane and not sensical that it's not a car chase movie anymore. But that's what's funny though, dude, is you you were busting balls a second ago about it starting with stealing VCRs and I'm longing for those days. Right. Of course. Well, we do? just we steal some VCRs, we go have some coronies and cook some chicken or something. What like are, what are your fa- what are your favorite Fast and the Furious movies? 
mine? Yeah. Uh, seven and five are the two. Those like I like the yeah the five to seven range where yeah. it, that's the thing when it gets away from street racing yeah. is where I'm like okay because like I don't care about street oh, sure. racing but yeah. I'll watch you know espionage spy action stuff. My favorite is the um, Zapruder film. <laughs> <laughs> It's a car chase movie. No, Come like on, The Mark. Rock has to turn this into his Instagram feed. Eric has to turn this into his Twitter feed. <laughs> <laughs> well done. So <laughs> they. It's just a, an action packed car I know. caper. And he's like, this is when uh, uh, Stan's like, you're not going to touch my sissa. And he's like, yes, I am. I'm going to touch her a lot because it's a cool thing. I mean, also, by the way, the, the MacGuffin of this movie is a woman. So thumbs down there. Like, everyone's <laughs> trying to get this lady. Oh, also, does anybody here? I just, I, does anybody know what this disease is? It's never defined. It's a, it's a thing that's just, it's, it's, we are told by Ryan Reynolds as that pancake stack is being served that it turns your insides into soup. Yes. So they, nothing. But then they say it's a programmable disease. Yeah. Correct. And I'm like, well, okay. So you take, you just put this thing in your old vibe. Vanessa Kirby's walking around like fucking day. You're not shitting. You're not vomiting. You're not getting a little sweaty yeah, every it's once a in a while. Weird. I, maybe, are they like nanobots? Are they contained? In I think some that's, way they're, that they're little like tablets and shit that so, are in her hand. Right. So the candy coating of the Advil that's in her yeah. hand. Oh, hasn't it, gone, hasn't yeah. worn off. And, no, there's, okay. and there's a very specific timeline. It's in like 72 hours, I think at the beginning of the movie, it's like yeah. 72 hours. Mm-hmm. Once that goes, it's going to go in her blood screen, stream. Then she's going to be airborne and it's going to destroy 60% of the world or whatever oh, wow, the number. exciting. It's really exciting. Stakes are higher. Eric. Stakes are pretty high. Kind of would prefer VCR theft at this point. <laughs> absolutely, definitely, <but>. absolutely. <laughs> I just want her to like, ha- like blow her nose once. <laughs> Something. I oh, beg and of then you. like goop comes out. Yes, goop, Eric. I was always when going back Paltrow's to goop. Paltrow's blog yes. comes out. When <laughs> Paltrow just comes out of her nose. Oh, that'd be something. Wow. Uh, I'd be Shakespeare in love with that. In this scene where they're like arguing with each other about doing the job and, yeah. and whatever. Uh, there's two like control room guys who are there. Is yeah. the one guy Joel Murray? Uh, I'm tell pretty you. sure they're both nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Relatively so again, is the one guy Joel Murray? <laughs> Joel Murray, he was on Mad Men, right? When yeah, he he's, he's the Freddy, leg. whatever, the dude that pisses yeah. himself. My favorite moment of his. Because there's like two dudes. Oh, no, I don't think it was Joel Murray. I think I would have noticed it, but maybe I didn't. Okay. Oh, whatever. It doesn't you, matter. I mean, we would look at IMDb to, to confirm this, folks at home, but there's 185,000 actors in this movie. <laughs> yeah, it's impossible it to find. It's too long. I will say that it probably isn't because my father always uh, emails me whenever a movie featuring the Murray brothers oh, okay. <laughs> comes out in theaters, and he did not send me one. Well, look at this new Murray notification. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess Caddyshack's getting a fucking. Uh, a retrospective. Just so, did a, a cursory uh, search here. Did a little Apple F on the old cast sheet. Oh, yeah. Not Joel Murray. So Statham goes to her apartment, runs into some bad guys, fights them. Uh, She's got this apartment from like Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Yeah, by the, the way, you the see all this neon. Blue? I don't know what's going on. And the Rock finds her, and they get into a fight. She breaks a bottle over the Rock's face, face specifically, and he's like, Ugh. like he, he just shakes it his up head like, like someone threw a snowball at him. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I'm sorry, it's glass and flesh. I know he works out; it's cool, <laughs> but he lifts weights with his face, dude. Got so it. So it's yeah. all just muscle. Can I point out one of the most silly parts of the start of? this is when the rock is initially like trying to find out where she would be he goes up to this dude who's at like a satellite command center and he's like why don't you look at the whatever and the guy's like "Ah, we did that already Mm. stupid huge monster person and he's like no, 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 no. I need you to magnify that, that area. Remove this. Do th- and he's like telling this guy how to work this satellite. And I'm like, no fucking way. Also, right. lick my balls. <laughs> uh, just I have to throw that out there every uh, 30 minutes. Lick, lick my balls or do something with my balls. Lick my bunghole, motherfucker. That line could have been used in this movie, dude. Bring it back up in some way. 
and they're like flirt fighting a little bit here. And she's also kicking the shit out of him, sure, which yeah. is pretty great. Yeah, she like does like a bunch of like arm bar stuff. It's she fun. puts a motorcycle helmet on and then just starts smashing her face into his head. Like she has one of those apartments where like even if you were like to tap the toilet paper, a computer would come out. <laughs> yes. And like what is up- this computer that Jason Statham <laughs> finds in her living room? I, I'm telling you, it's, it's like from Blade Runner. You hit a, a kitchen cabinet, a computer and a TV come out. Mm. <laughs> fucking kitchen, this entire goddamn like super weapon system comes out. So like as Hobbs is fighting her, Shaw winds up like fighting all these dudes in the apartment. That There's come like a twenty minute her. grenade. That, like someone pulls a pin, and a really yeah. long time passes. And yeah, <laughs> and then oh, yeah. it's like an afterthought. Like Statham jumps on the ground and puts the pin back in. Like at the last second, I thought he was self sacrificing. I thought, I thought it was just gonna blow because he up. could just dude. It's these movies. He could just jump on it and be like, whoa. That sucked. Oh, I need, <laughs> exactly. I need some stitches now. I'm gonna yeah. dust this soot off. I'm a cartoon, all right. <laughs> Just drink some <laughs> bottle of Pepto Bismo afterwards. And, oh, I'm all right then. Yeah, the uh, part when the rock is running off that cliff and then looks down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. As this is going on, we cut to Idris, who goes oh, back to this like minority he's... report office. But he's also <laughs> painting a tunnel on a regular wall, <laughs> and it really gets our heroes into a bit of a problem. This the, the Etion offices. Where he goes into this room and he's talking to some voice modulated guy who's like, you've got to get the virus. And now, yeah. is that from other movies? 2049. <laughs> yes, no, this is a but... brand new thing. I it's understand. a brand new thing, but I guess... I can tell you here, because I didn't. You don't get it in the movie, mm-hmm. but at least according uh, to the IMDb listing, let me just find it again, really quickly here. Doing the voice of this like manager, oh, right. yeah. According to IMDb, it's Ryan Reynolds. You it, can hear it if you listen to the him when he's doing these back and forth with the computer. Yeah, like. It, all the vault like that goes up and down because it's like oh it's a computer voice so it's all different yeah. but like modulation occasionally it just drops out and you you can hear ryan reynolds just saying shit but the, the idea was that's just sort of a placeholder and they'll save it for the sequel exactly whomever is going to be the bad guy right right, right. oh so they're just going to do a uh, mission Pol- possible fallout dude oh that's interesting <laughs> uh, that's, that's a smart move um, so, yeah, so he captures Hattie, brings her back to the office. There's, like, an interrogation bit right here, which just leads to more fighting in this office. Fighting and them talking about how big The Rock is, which is, like, he's and writing... balls. The, he's writing this into the <laughs> script. He's like, could somebody mention how enormous I am? Like, we've done that a couple times. No, no. Again. Do it again. And again. Also, fit in uh, something about my balls being <laughs> spotless <laughs> and smelling like lavender. Oh, my God. You're so big. You can't even fit through that door. I know. I It's bad. It's stuff, right? <laughs> oh, God. I could barely fit in this car. I'm so enormous. <laughs> At least there's some jokes of, like, um, Shaw being like, you know, this is supposed to be a discreet mission. And yeah. you, you walk in, like, a fucking doorway or whatever. Yeah, exactly. So um, that works, but... That stuff does work because yeah. it makes sense. Because like, yeah, of course he would. I mean, he doesn't. The Rock's character does not actually work for the CIA. No, he's just a guy. DSS. That, yeah. Um. So anyway, DSS. so it's like diplomat, Secret Service. Or oh, I thought like it was that. like a new down to fuck Pippin. <laughs> you yeah. you, you, The Rock is DSS. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So as they're arguing about everything, uh, Idris breaks into the office, and there's a big shootout here. Bang bang. And this becomes the first big chase sequence. And I mean, like, the problem with, like, having... And this is what I I actually don't like about... The one thing (laughs) is the... um, So much of this movie, I mean, like, 70 to 80 minutes of this... No, more than that, is how much... The Rock and Jason Statham do not want to be in this movie. He's like, well, I'm not going. Neither am I. If yeah. he goes, I don't go. Yeah. If I don't, and I'm like, can we just resolve that in minute 15 and yeah. just at least be like, well, we don't like it, but we're going to work together. No, the entire fucking movie, they're like at each other's throats and it's not exciting or fun. No, no and it's not. it's not funny. You get over it so quickly. Because also it's like, I've seen some other movies where they interact together yes exactly you know, you know that they can work together well that's the whole point of why they're united to do this and mission it's not tense because you're, you're never thinking they're actually going to really go at each no. other yes. so it's just useless you're but, just listening to kvetching yes yeah. it's bad boy syndrome yes. bickering yes, that's, that's non-stop true. bickering mm-hmm. 
So Idris comes in. He's got his fucking Tron helmet on. That's like showing him all the weak points of these people. Question. This also the self-driving motorcycle. If your question is dumb. if he fights for the user, unfortunately, I don't think so. <laughs> My question is like, so he, when when he, we see him get his upgrades, it's in his spine and whatever. It's all about this bizarre suit that he's wearing, which is basically like an X Men suit, yep. uh, a Brian Singer X Men suit, I should say. Yeah, is. Like, can he take that off or no? Like, he what's, can. He can. Okay, because so it's can, not all the suit. Like, he's getting like implants in his body. Like his yeah, it's just like a. It's like a bulletproof suit. Go, okay, so he can just take that off and go to the movies. Is what we're saying. He's, yeah, he can have a normal life. Oh, okay, good. as much as a bioengineered mutant can yeah. have a normal <laughs> life. Sure. Yeah, this movie's long, so long. Why not just throw in a segment where Idris Elba goes to the movies, gets some popcorn. <laughs> We get to see him like real time in line for concessions. <laughs> or have uh, number two combo. Yeah, that'll work. On the future of evolution, I'll have nachos and popcorn. <laughs> oh, I only get uh, two sides, do I? Okay, uh, mac and cheese. And, uh... <laughs> Dude, can I get an extra biscuit, actually, instead of just the one biscuit that comes with it? This will blow your mind, because he walks into the movie theater, and it's playing Hobbs and Shaw. Oh, and then it gets fuck. to the part where he's buying concessions, and people are like, wait, what's this then? <laughs> and then Hobbs and Shaw break into the movie theater, and they're like, whoa, we're in the movie. Do they have the golden <laughs> ticket? Can they pass through? No, I'm thinking more Gremlins sort of a situation, where Hulk Hogan's like, hey! Eat yourself, you brother. You better get back in that movie or else I'm going to be really bad. Hey, Hobbs and Shaw, you get out of that projection booth. We, people are hearing him buy cold soda and hot popcorn <laughs> for Idris Elba to be sitting in the theater, not in the movie. Yeah, that, uh, that suit there might be bulletproof. It ain't Hogan proof. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. This movie could have used Hulk Hogan. Uh, uh, I think this is during the midst of his N word controversy. The trouble, sure. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, so, yeah, there's a big stupid chase through London. He's got this super motorcycle that's dumb as fuck. The only part of the chase that I really remember is I mean, it's, we're going through London. This I is love, where I start falling asleep. Yes, because I mean, it, it just goes on and on. Some dude gets picked up, I think, by the rock and thrown into a pylon, and oof, does dude, he get it? It's awesome. He's. Dwayne Johnson like sticks his arm out of a truck and just grabs a dude off a motorcycle and is holding him until they drive up to like a column or something. And somehow fucking Hobbs doesn't get his arm ripped off. Yeah, this well, obviously. But the, yeah, this dude smacks into like marble or something. You see him like pop like a balloon. Almost. And the car that they're in, the rock looks so uncomfortable. It's like a th it's a, they're they're sitting like three people in. I think uh, Statham's driving. It's a, yes. a British thing. So he's on the other side, and like it looks like a Happy Meal toy. Like this dude's enormous in this fucking car. There's no way the three of them are fit. And Jim was like, "Can I just? I just. Oh God, this sucks. This ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Hope you don't mind sitting, bitch. <laughs> I was gonna say the Rock just needs his arm out just for space. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, this is more comfy, fellas. Uh, but after this attack goes down. Uh, Oh, um, uh, Idris Elba turns into Yosemite Sam yeah. because, like, there's like a thing where like a, a double decker bus separates them or whatever, and he goes, "No, no, 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 no!" and he's like <laughs> jumping up and down. Yes, I kind of love that. Like, yes. I, I was kind of like waiting for moments like that where, like, because he, otherwise he's just a badass yelling at a computer. Yeah. Sure. And then finally, like one moment where he's like, ah, and he just throws it down. <laughs> uh, but it's like, all right, this they beat me in this chase scene. Better light it up. And they, I guess this organization has control over all media. They released this story that Hobbs and Shaw oh, sure. are the ones that stole this virus. He's King he's, of all media. He's doing that. He's <laughs> announcing this in a room that looks like the TED Talk room. Yeah. And he's just in the middle of it. It's like, all right, the narrative is and like is doing this whole thing. Yeah, dude, let's not talk about spinning narratives in Hobbs and Shaw. It's one thing if this organization has super people. Sure. I don't, that doesn't bother me that much. But they like control all media now, and like they even get out like um or it's a you know uh, the globalist uh, yeah, exactly. all the globalist scumbags <laughs> oh uh, they want to put uh they want to make us into super serum men and they've got viruses they, catch them in bed with Hobbs it's, and Shaw thank you Steve it is it veers into like protocols of Elder Zion yes it, no it really it's, it's fucked it's, up it's really it, weird yeah they get Idris Elba on the floor at the end and he's like gasping for it. he's like Antion is not the villain. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, folks. You heard it first. Soros. 
is paying protesters. George Soron. He's got he's got mech suited protesters <laughs> going around saying that they don't want to die in war. Now we all know that Hobbs and Shaw is a fictional movie, but what I am saying is, ladies and gentlemen. There is an E.T. on out there, and George Soros runs it. That's right. Hillary thought, Clinton. Of course, there would uh, there would have to be a black Superman for George Soros. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, folks. Ask the right questions. <laughs> Kevin, I thought you were going to go uh, Royal Tenenbaums. Now, everybody, as we know, Hobbs and Shaw is a fictitious film. But what I am presupposing is, what if it's not? <laughs> That's right, and then Idris Elba rides off in the friskalating dust cloud. <laughs> Man, friskalating. I Great. love it. Uh, Wait, hold on, hold on. Why, 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 why do they go out of their way to say that I am not a genius? <laughs> now, hold on a second. Now, who exactly is running this Grand Budapest Hotel? <laughs> I mean, be, beyond the middle management. Well, there is one that he's actually said, you've made a cuckold of me. <laughs> yeah, that's, he has said that to his wife over screaming into his speakerphone multiple times. Folks, there is the, there's a train it's coming in. It's bringing immigrants. You don't know what's going on with it. It's called the Dirjeeling Limited. <laughs> <laughs> Just makes me disgusted even saying the name. Uh, I am reading all sorts of propaganda coming off the French dispatch. <laughs> Uh, oh, you don't want this to. You don't want to wake up one day and find yourself in a moonrise kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, folks. All right, we not not everyone's going to be able to look good in a tweed suit. I guarantee you, <laughs> at some point in his life, he said, "Never in my wildest nightmares did I imagine I would have sons like these." <laughs> <laughs> he's also at one point in his life. Lock it. <laughs> he's. <laughs> He's taken a spoon out of his mouth and gone, the fuck you care? <laughs> what do you mean you won't call me fantastic Mr. Fox? I'm not attractive enough, Teresa. That's right, we just got breaking news here that Max got fucking jerked off in the back of a bloody Jaguar. <laughs> Oh, fuck. So, yeah, so now the whole world is looking for Hobbs and Shaw. And it's like, oh, we've got to go underground. They wind up stealing this scientist that created the virus. Played by Eddie Marsan, of all people. Woo! Doing this Russian accent thing. Yeah, sure. it's, it's fine. And he's like, oh, the only way to stop it is you have to kill yourself. And I'm like, cool <laughs> movie. <I don't>, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Yeah. Um, it is, what, it's called Snowflake or Snow, something? Oh, yeah, oh, the, the, the <laughs> uh, virus is called a snowflake virus. Oh, that's no accident, folks. That is, I repeat, no accident. Yeah, uh, the snowflake virus, it causes you to put your pronouns in your Twitter profile. Okay, everybody? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw is a leftist text. You have to read it to know what's really going on. That's right. Actually, they're saying that the number one way to contract this snowflake, dis snowflake disease is not to like InfoWars on Facebook. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the snowflake disease is going to make you come down with a really hardcore case of Hobbs and Shaw derangement syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take the snowflake missile and we must find a safe space for it. <laughs> also, here's the thing about Hobbs and Shaw, right? Here's this, like, mission. They're totally fucked. Like, the whole world is coming after them. Like, their photos are everywhere. Why is it that this time, why? this whole thing is going on, why <laughs> is Hobbs, neither Hobbs nor Shaw, picking up the phone and being beep boop up? Uh, hey, Dominic Toretto, Thank we're you. totally fucked right now. We need to, like, why is that? Why, it's well, so easy. Well, 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 <laughs> look who's crawling back. Exactly, but it's like, it's so dumb. Why, with these spinoff things like this, you got to tell me that Dominic Toretto's off the... Like, I tried to call Toretto. Yes. Well, also, I I even thought, like, because they, at this point, they're like, well, we have to go to the Ukraine to find this this virus and blah, 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 or, or the the base where they're at. That's the only way to get it extracted. They're going there, like, and Shaw's like, well, I'll go a friend that can help us. And it's this lady. You don't see who she is. I'm like, oh, is that Michelle Rodriguez? Like, that would kind of make some sense. Right. Yeah, and then it's exactly. not. It's some lady that who has one line in the movie makes out... Jason Statham, just to remind you that he's into chicks. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Not forget. He's hot as fuck. Oh, Top total. hetero. <laughs> and it's the it's John Hamm's girlfriend from Baby Driver. 
Well, yes. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, she's fine. I mean, like again, she's in it for two scenes. She's Isaac like a some, Gonzalez. It's she's like, in Alita too for a little bit. I gotta finally watch that movie. So they, they oh, you still have it? I still have I, it. Ever since Alita? Theater yeah. was evacuated? Yeah, so I watched oh, half of it and the oh, theater right. was evacuated. I, I, really, I really liked it. I, it's kind of a movie. divisive movie. Some mm. people hate it or like it. Yeah, but I think it's one of the more underseen movies of last year. Yeah. I, it was a totally enjoyable movie. I wanted I, I tried to see it. Just edit down that rollerblading sequence a little bit. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. Uh, they, yeah. yeah and then, like, oh, they, we see uh, Shaw's cool pad. Oh, right. His fucking basement bachelor. But dude, this guy's just jerking off in here guaranteed it's like an <laughs> under- gotta do it somewhere underground thing where there's all these like custom cars he's got a bar where it's like all the liquor is decanted there's not a single mm. bottle with a label he's on got it a, he's got a big jar of my brain flex pills <laughs> That's, uh, i've got to go and find there's one only one person who can get me off the grid he's been living off the grid for years i call him prison paul <laughs> well, imagine my shock. Deckard Shaw's in my mother's basement. Dude, then you kind of make it like a Die Hard 4 yes. thing. Yeah, the, right? my command center. Yeah. If that guy wasn't a deplorable racist, you could imagine him being in a movie, but he's not. He's a deplorable racist. <laughs> There's other deplorable racists in movies, that's, though. Yeah, it's, it's sad. And and Prison Paul, played by Mel Gibson. I, like I, despite our disagreements with Paul Joseph Watson, we think he should be in movies. <laughs> That's all. That's all. You're driving garbage. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. So he's like, I'm going to set up this whole thing. Like, we're going to have new identities immediately. Uh, uh, Statham is doing this all from this basement garage sure. where it's like, all right, like I changed your fucking biometric profile so that when you go through like airport security, it's okay. going to say you're a different person. And like uh, Jason Statham's idea is, well, I'm going to put on a hat. Um, yeah. Did you get the? Did you? Did you guys pick up the name he used? No, yes. Franz Gruber. Oh, oh, did oh that's God. sort of something. Yeah. That's a thing. <laughs> he should have been a villain in one of those Die Hard movies. That would be great. Of course, that would have been rad. Yeah, I'd watch that. Yeah. I uh, guess I watched this. So but the I'd watch um, that. the Rock's alias is Mike. Mike's Cox, Mike Cox Mall. Mike Ox Ox Mail, which if you say oh, fast right. enough is. My cock small. Right? That is funny. fucking funny. So Ding it's dong a little jokes. bit of a comedy yeah. in your film. <laughs> it's pepper and some yuck. And then like, he also honestly like, get someone who knows comedy to write this shit. Don't just let Ryan Reynolds go off on the tangent and do- yeah. and, and cock small jokes. While I respect them, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this one. No, it's not good. You gotta do it right, and, folks. It also doesn't matter if you've also been eating seven thousand of them every fucking twenty minutes of this movie. Sure, like that's the thing. I love a good prank call to Mo Sislax bar <laughs> yeah. bit as much as the next person, but like the Simpsons only do it once an episode. You know, we're doing it a bunch. The, the other thing too is like, so he, he's like, oh, here's your bad. Uh, name or whatever. The Rock, by the way, has a mustache in this scene and does not in the it, next scene. It looks and good. It bothers me. It looks great. It looks good. Well, I mean, is it supposed to be fake then? Is that the idea? I don't know. It looks, it looks like a real one. Yeah, probably. Know. How's he just getting a mustache? Though? Yeah, I guess. A reshoot. <laughs> <laughs> he can make hair grow on I command. think it was part ah. of his disguise to go through security yeah, so of and course be undetected. Yeah. But Shaw has that rivalry with him that he puts shit on his, like, I don't know. His ID, ID or something. Yeah, his that's... permanent record is bad. So he gets, it. and like, he's like, well, that's it. You're out of the movie. LOL. And it's like, it's been 40 minutes. You guys have to be a team now. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, yes. really just get it together. Like, it is a real shit or get off the pot right about now. Fucking focus on this. Also, not for nothing, the Fast and the Furious guys being ridiculous and all, you know, with all the motor power and all that. Taking commercial flights. All right. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I, I I think they should. And I think everyone should. <laughs> but I didn't expect them to get on a commercial airliner. It should be airliner. a thing where it's like, I put in a call. Here's our private jet. Well, we do that later, which is, again, a huge logistical hole in this movie. Oh, well, actually, that logistical hole starts rearing its ugly head right here because he gets on the plane. Yeah. They start arguing once again, just waggling but, these fucking but, cocks. But um, The Rock gets out of the scenario with TSA or whatever this is. I mean, it's a different country. So yeah, it's whatever. Not the, TSA. But whatever security. The British, yes. By just being super charming, yeah, which is yeah, I like. And, I like that detail. Why not? And this is where the real fucking like they've been flir- Vanessa Kirby and The Rock have been flirting this whole time. Sure, but here yeah. is five minutes 
of The Rock telling Jason Statham that he's going to fuck his sister yep. and he's going to do it raw. Well, and you, like, he's, I, I'm a sex mountain. Are you going to, I'm going to let that uh, Philly fucking mountain. climb this sex mountain. Well, th- it starts off with him being like, you ain't going to touch more, sissa. And he's like, well, she's a grown woman. She could do it. Like, we're pretending like any of that matters. Yeah. He's like, well, that's a, a very uh, retrograde attitude to have these days, blah, blah, right. blah. She could make her own decisions. I'm like, uh, it's too late for that in this movie. And then he's like, but also, I'm going to fuck her with my big rock dick, dude. <laughs> it's like, okay. I'm going to let her climb this mountain if she chooses to. The other thing, though, is Statham taking it right to the hole here because it's not just like, don't fuck my sister. He's like, you're going to impregnate my sister. Yeah, and impregnate. even the rock, like, fucking Hobbs is like, did you say impregnate? <laughs> what? No. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's fair because I do impregnate every woman I fuck. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> super potent right over here. Listen, these super-powered Samoans are going to come and make love to our women and impregnate them, ruining the white race. Black Superman will get your sister pregnant. <laughs> the babies are garbage. <laughs> Man, that dude stinks. That's right, folks. They're turning the babies garbage. <laughs> You know the garbage pail kids? Yeah, that's going to be a real thing. And speaking of garbage babies, uh, Kevin Hart <laughs> shows up here. He's oh the dude Lord. who turns around and it's like, excuse me, will you stop arguing? Yeah. And they like, there's this whole bit about like why he is instantly uh, recognizable as the air marshal. Oh, because he's got like a golf polo on yeah. and blah, blah, blah. And then he's just like, oh, I get it. You're, he like identifies. He knows that they're spies or terrorists yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Shit. It's like, what? And he's like, and I want to be part of the team. And they're like, why? And he's like, don't worry. I want to be part of the gr- team. You want to be part of the team? Okay, well, I'm working for Al Assad. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you, you talking about? You just got recruited, yeah. dude. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> Your one job is anyone with sketchy business on a fucking plane, you got to fucking take them out. (laughs) All right, so Kevin Hart, you want to join the cause. Yeah, we are working for Bashir al-Assad. We need you to commandeer this aircraft. (laughs) It is landing in fucking... Somewhere in he Damascus says, or Tripoli. Kevin Hart like uses some line like he wants to complete the Holy Trinity, and I'm like, dude, this is desperate. And I mean, like, obviously, the, the gag is it's supposed to be desperate, but it's just not funny. And it keeps coming back. It keeps going on. It keeps on. coming back. I don't need him in the movie. I don't need him in the movie. No. Uh, but Steve, actually, in looking through my notes here, where we are in the movie, you were remembering correctly because this is them going to Moscow. This is where oh, they meet Madame M. Got it. Because Statham's like, oh, I got me old friend, blah, blah, blah. And so Rock, The Rock is like, Oh, you're you have a friend in the Russian mafia, oh, and yeah. he goes, "No, she steals from Russian mobsters or yeah. whatever." And it's just this woman like invading this mansion and like, are they killing people with here? an army of like model spies that she has mm-hmm. all her own? Like, this is another movie entirely. It is a direct to streaming. I'll fucking find you at the bottom of a list somewhere. <laughs> movie, John Cusack movie. <laughs> yes, totally. <laughs> Must love spies. <laughs> and, like, she hooks them up with stuff, like um, Kevlar outfits for this big raid they're going to do on the compound. The Rock chooses to get a short-sleeved Kevlar shirt. What are you going for short sleeves, dude? <laughs> like, I know you have big arms, but they can get... No. They're not bulletproof. Yes, they are. Oh, Bullets yeah. will bounce off. He's oh, just a flex real quick. That's I think the gag, though, is that, like, it's the only thing they had for him yeah, because gonna... Jason Statham makes some joke about, like, the shirt's too tight, yeah. and he gets, like, self-conscious about it for a second. But, yeah, if you're making a bulletproof <laughs> shirt, there should probably be some arms to it there, also. There is a part earlier in the movie when he's, like, flexing his arms, but he's also flexing his oh, brains God. where uh, he mentions Nietzsche and yeah. shit. The biggest dumb guy energy I've ever felt in my life <laughs> yeah. is the fucking rock saying, no, Nietzsche. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just, like, flexing my Nietzsche, brain. It's so stupid because, like, Dwayne Johnson himself is not stupid. No. And just, I hate when they have to do these things where a character, because he's, like, a big, muscly dude is, like, overly justifying it by like quoting something that this person would never read anyway right. but i would it got me thinking flexing brains now brains it's like hanging brain. brains yes you know you like your hang brain is like your scrotum is visible hobbs and shaw the film wants you to hang brain <laughs> <laughs> but i was like what if you could flex your scrotum and now if anyone can do it it's the, the rock. rock. Yeah, the rock. Absolutely. Absolutely. Every every body, every body part is a muscle. He could look if he right. flexed his toes, like, wow, that's a muscly toe. Yeah. <laughs> He's, you can't even see right now, but I'm flexing my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Giving my dick a workout. 
so the idea is they have this super bomb that they're going to bomb the the big Etion offices in the Ukraine. Right. And they have 40 minutes or less or some nonsense to do it. And there, there's one machine in there that can uh, extract the, the virus from her and keep her alive. Uh, also, the the scientist gets kidnapped in between those two things. There is a funny cutaway. Like, while they're dealing with this Russian mobster lady, they cut back to the secret base, and Idris Elva is threatening Eddie Marsan with a flamethrower. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I am laughing. I am just yeah. hee-haw laughing. But that's one of those scenes that I really think is what makes this movie so long. It's those little scenes where you could have just said, oh, I killed Eddie Marson and I yeah, took the fucking thing. Or, or I kidnapped over. him or whatever, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how we get back to like a solid 105 minutes here, people. Right, right, right. Or like, oh, a friend of mine gave us all this stuff. Cool. We don't need to yep. see her strutting around a, a palatial villa aside from, again, proving that Jason Statham loves the ladies <laughs> and the ladies that love him are sexy ladies. Right. So she decided. Uh, by all the other thing too, I think this is somewhere around here. She's like, "Look, the only way that we can sort of do this whole trick or whatever is if I go and get myself kidnapped." Yes, that's the other thing. So she does get kidnapped by Idris at some point. She's like on a table, like yeah. it's fucking Goldfinger, uh, and, the, and they jump from a plane a of jet. The- that go- there's a whole mm-hmm. gag about like the Rock fucking pulls Statham's ejector seat first and fucks him over, and they parachute like right into this smokestack in this, a nuclear facility. This scene is the scene from Roger Rabbit with Bugs Bunny and fucking uh, Mickey Mouse and Bob Hoskins falling. It's like, we're just cracking jokes yeah. and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's just cartoon shit. They, 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 they land and they set the bomb and now they're going... This is the scene... This trailer, by the way, we should talk about how long this trailer was. It's a very yes. long trailer. And I saw you see the whole movie yeah. in the trailer. It's like a five-minute trailer and they played it every movie. You every couldn't, you couldn't movie. escape it. Universal was very successful at getting trailer placement for this movie and in the lead up to it. I, I got to say some of you guys said it before. I don't know if we were talking on air or off, but like the Samoa thing should have been a cool like little turn. Like you yes. shouldn't have seen yeah. it in the trailer. Exactly. Exactly. Because it, it's great. You're seeing this beautiful place, all this shit. Like I would have preferred to not see. I mean, it doesn't belong in this movie. It is Hobbs and Shaw too, but like. If you have to shoehorn it in here, don't put it in the fucking trailer. No, but Eric, no, it wasn't in the first trailer or even the second trailer. It was in the final trailer. The final really? Trailer. Yeah, so that's cool. You know, when we have three trailers that reveal about 20 minutes of the movie and right. in the final trailer, because it's really close to the movie, you could just tell what the entire movie is about. Like, right. Go through the entire You're going to see it soon enough anyway. Who cares? Fucking final trailer. Final my ass. I just, <laughs> I'm they, sick of it. We need to go back to, a, it's just teasers. Give it's just me, teasers. Give me sure. a, one minute and 35 seconds. Every That's movie all gets you get. one trailer. It's Gabbo like, hey, is coming. Exactly. Or not even that. Like, just, it's the trailer to the movie. Like, oh, cool. And you could watch it a bunch right. if you're way into the movie. But multiple trailers. So that's kind of a new thing, right? It is. It's, it's fairly it's new. It's first trailer, like second last, trailer, final trailer. We're way into three trailers. The last days. like 10 <sighs> years or so. You know why? It's just to justify all these fucking marketing people's budgets. Well, no, it's because like the uh, the announcement thing, the thing like where we're like, we're going to have Doctor Strange 2 come out in 2021. Yes. So in At 2019, Bowl, you have yeah. the first one that shows you nothing but maybe the cape and then the second one you get some of the plot the third one you get all of the fucking plot Mm -hmm. and then you've reached two years where you kept on marketing this thing consistently throughout yeah and so this garbage this is the scene in in one of or all the trailers where the it's the two of them it's this totally nonsensical situation where there's two doors and each one's gonna go through one and fight bad guys and not fight bad guys yeah and it's just like i know it's a duality movie but like what if they went through the same door? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense no, it, to split up. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, yet it's one of the best scenes in the film. It is. Because yeah. what what are we even doing? <laughs> How is this even a movie? Well, that's the thing, is like if when it's action comedy like that, when like it's like there's these two scenes and it's funny and there's a lot of physical stuff going on, that works, but it doesn't work if you're also giving it like 50 scenes of Vanessa Kirby explaining what the virus is and 50 scenes of goddamn Eddie Marsden being tortured. And also, by the way, the the raid on the villain's compound is, guess what that's called? The end of the movie. Yes! yes! Absolutely. Once you, f- you infiltrate it and you're doing this stuff, that's the end of the movie. You fight these guys, you fight some other guys, you fight Idris Elba, and you're yeah. out of there in 91 minutes 
fucking flat. That's exactly right, because I think if you look at the time code when we get to the it's Ukraine... Like 60-ish minutes. It's like, okay, and then we're going to have, like, a standoff with the villain. There will be an action chase. Sure. You know, there's the big thing. Maybe the compound blows, and then he gets away for, like, a little bit, and you get him. Yes. And then that's your movie. Also, all the locations you need. You, you brief California, London, Ukraine... What what more do you need? Well, you need so you need a, a sixty minutes of most secret. So they go they they uh, I think the Rock is fighting all these guys. Stay well, no, fighting the, one the guy. The Rock is fighting oh, one, one guy, guy with a right. giant wrench who's instantly dispatched. I feel like they're trying to mirror like the Raiders of the Lost Ark. It kind of is because he just punches him in the face and the guy goes down. Right, and, and then Statham's meanwhile Statham's fighting a thousand people. And like while this is kind of cool, yes. I saw it in the fucking second version of the you're trailer. Right. You're right. Mm-hmm. You're you know, right. and 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 I I it's still one of the better scenes of the movie somehow and th- there's like a facial recognition thing so statham has to keep putting people's faces up that's good it's a fun game yeah, it's, it's a funny g- thing it's some, it's some comedy and um <laughs> so, uh marisan finds kirby and he kind of saves her a little bit he gets her out of trouble right so she's loose uh i, I think, think she uh, gets herself loose though because of the dude oh right who's gonna like do something to her and she breaks off the table and like kicks the shit out of this guy and he, eddie marsan has some line of like how is that possible <laughs> or you know something. oh that's right and, and the the, the punchline to these two the two room scenario uh in one room the guy always tells the truth in the other room the guy always lies no that's a different thing um uh-huh. <laughs> no and they get they get through it and at the other end is idris alba and a hundred guys with guns they're captured and they're like tied up to this stupid thing, this Dude, car battery they thing. They got car batteries tied up to their nuts. And that's like, what this is now. And the Elba is very specific. He's like, all right, guess what, everyone? By the way, my voice for Idris Elba and Jason Statham, same voice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and he's like, guess what? It's going to be a thing where you you can only survive four of these shocks. And right. like, of course, The Rock's like, fuck you. And he's yeah, shocked. I could so, do five. Right. Yeah, because I'm big. And it's like, okay, what if, what if, what if Jason Statham had a heart attack on the first one? Like you know what I mean? Like, and that's it. He just well, he's he, just Mr. Crank guy, dude. So you just shock him again, and now, he's gonna wake up. Would Hobbs mourn him? Oh yeah, he would. Because yeah, I think it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all bravado, Eric. They right. really are good Deep friends. Yeah, 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 I loved him so much. I talked about balls with him for hours mm. sometimes. Mm. I could talk about balls for hours, <laughs> but like they're they're knocked I could out. Eat a ball for hours, dude. Nicholas Cage is the bad guy not. in this movie. Yep, you should have done. Oh it. my, exactly. Yep. What if he needs it. money? Why is it? First of all, he loves money. I, why he's in, why is he not in any of these Fast and Furious? He could be movies. the director in the next movie, like because there's going to be a sequel. Like that yeah. would make. You get some unhinged energy in your movie. Yeah. It would be a little strange to hear him saying, I am the black Superman. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yeah. And that's the problem, dude. Actually, because get him drunk enough at a karaoke yeah. bar. He will say that. <laughs> well, it's a thing where it's like, you know, you should never start your script based on like one line that you thought of and then work backwards. Yeah, and exactly. It. And also be willing to change some lines around. Sure. <laughs> a black Superman, by the way, all over that trailer. Oh, of course. So you're not gonna you're not gonna enjoy that in the movie. Nope. Um, there is a funny thing though, like when they come out of the two rooms, they get knocked out. Yeah. So then they come to the scene. This torture scene starts with Hobbs waking up, and Statham's looking at him, and he's like, "Oh, good, you're back or whatever." And The Rock has some line about like, "I was dreaming they killed you, and waking up right now, I'm disappointed." Or something. Yeah. And it's like it's, it just is a funny. It's, yeah. It's a fu- I just wanted to mention a line that did work for me. How are your balls doing, buddy? Your balls <laughs> doing good? Well, one popped. How's your tiny dick, you tiny dick freak? Well, that's the thing. Is like I think they do work together, but this movie's so overstuffed that it just doesn't work it, You anymore. often forget that. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, so it's a big fucking escape once again. This is the one that ends with a... A nuclear smokestack falling on Idris Elba, and he's totally fine. Well, also, what Idris Elba has been told by the director at this point, which makes absolutely no sense, and it's only a Not way the director to- of the film, this character, the director. <laughs> but also the director of the film, because it's the only way to prolong the movie, which is like, because the idea is, like, oh, you captured Hobbs and Shaw, you killed them both, but the director is like, I want you to turn them. And it's right. like, well, they won't turn because this isn't a vampire movie. And he's like, no, it kind of is. You shall turn them to our cause. It's, it's only 90 minutes. It has to be 120. You don't understand. <laughs> and if Hobbs and Shaw could be turned, they could be powerful allies. <laughs> and the whole thing is the idea is 
it's this like bullshit philosophy. It's very um, uh, Ra's al Ghul. Like uh, there's too many people in the world, and if we, true. If we call the if we call uh, all the people, I mean this good, is it's da, fucking da, 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 Thanos. Da, 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 da. Like it, this plot has been done. We've seen it, which is like yeah, it's it, we're going to create a, a global catastrophe mm. that will wipe out half the population uh, and the rest will flourish. But give me a flourish. reason why the villain would do that besides population control. Exactly. Oh. Because, Oh, I think you'll find my balls are quite operational. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what the emperor has said to every woman he fucked. Because the emperor is fucking now. Apparently, yeah. Oh, I took my Cialis, so it's quite operational. Oh, the fucking... We, we pan, okay, the scroll happens. We pan down to the emperor's half built balls because <laughs> they got half blown up last time <laughs> he has to go into darth vader's little um closed room to do it the emperor asks too much we can't re- restore his balls so quickly the emperor's coming here but we haven't even we haven't we haven't constructed the shaft or the the cum apparatus that gets that drains the balls perhaps you would like to tell him about the shaft then. <laughs> Uh, the dead fuck too. The dead <laughs> speak and the dead fuck. That's something. That's the porno parody. Yeah, the, the dead, dead fuck. <laughs> totally, dude. You the scroll oh, you want, the porno parody. I want a fucking dead fuck Star Wars porn parody. You get a Tarkin Town dude fucking in that too. Oh, dude, totally. Carrie Fisher can be fucking in that. Lois Griffin. <laughs> You, oh, Shrek, Eric, you wouldn't last five minutes. I wouldn't. I would not. Shrek, dude. Shrek just pounding the fucking emperor. Oh, <laughs> by the way, I saw something yesterday, Eric. This will be of, uh, of yes. interest to you. Yes. I saw Shrek condoms. Wait, what? Hold on. Get right, on your little phone. Right, I think they, slime this... flavored. <laughs> Uh, it tastes like ecto cool. Did you just say get on the phone? The yeah, phone the, the, the has my Shrek up. condoms. It's bog flavored. I actually, want not Steve that. to search this, not my phone. Oh, it right. just tastes like mud. Oh fuck, Shrek you. condoms. This is a uh, oh, this is a uh, snail shit flavor. Where did no. you see these condoms? I just saw it on uh, 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 on Twitter. So. Oh, I thought you were saying IRL. You saw them at the is store. Re- this isn't I, I'm real. not. Is it real? Or it not? says no. It's. I'm looking at an ad. It's it not says, baby condoms. It says Max baby. <laughs> It says maximum protection in case she visits your swamp. It's a Shrek condom. Yeah. These condoms contain layers of pleasure and satisfaction. It's got yes. the DreamWorks logo on it. It cannot DreamWorks be. DreamWorks definitely makes condoms. Dude, Steven Spielberg has always wanted to license condoms. Yeah, actually, I mean, have rena- you seen Shrek the Third? It might be in there. <laughs> Stay tuned, by the way. They're actually renaming DreamWorks. Did you hear about this? No, it's what? The wet DreamWorks. <laughs> oh, come uh, on. I thought it was going to be alphabet. So they they, they escape, like you said, a nuclear reactor falls on Idris Elba. He goes, ouch, and he's fine. Yeah. yeah. And like this huge explosion, blah, blah, blah. And they're in they're in the Ukraine. And they're like, oh, man. And Vanessa Kirby's like, that's it. We've got to go with option one. Option one in this movie is kill her. Because the device has been broken in this chase. Exactly. And she's only got four, like 40, so less than two, two days, 40-something hours are left until... Yeah. Uh, until the moon crashes and Zelda is... Oh, no, that's... that's, that's, that's George Mask. 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 Two days remain. Yes. No, but it's like, uh, th- there's this much time. We, we have no time to fix it, blah, 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 blah. And no, the the, the, yeah, the device is broken. We're yeah. never going to be able to get this out. And The Rock's like, I know a guy. and <laughs> I know a magician. A hey, and, hey, Babu Freak. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> but they travel to Samoa from the Ukraine. And I did some Googling. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. To get from fucking Ukraine to the Samoa, so they would right. have like five hours left. Like, holy shit, we're in huge trouble. It, I I know we we could have gone anywhere else, but I wanted to go to home. <laughs> it would be amazing if like they book the flight and they get on. They're like, how long is this flight? And then they find out on the thing. Oh, oh, we're all dead. Oh, everybody on this plane is dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. You're all dead. This is also where we get another brief thing with Kevin Hart being like, see, I got you a plane. Blah, blah, blah. I'm an air marshal. It's like, oh, oh I should right. Air marshals, by the way, have no authority to obtain aircraft. He you. chartered a flight for them, which is okay. Yeah. What? He's got all the connections. Also, get ready for laughs. He's taking this entire conversation while he's taking a shit in a bathroom somewhere. Do you get it? And like Statham does the old gag of like, you're breaking up and throws the phone out the window. <laughs> and they arrive in yep. Samoa. 
And sure. it's like, okay, this is the new movie we're in. And now Here's it's like parts Hobbs and Shaw part three. And his family fucking hates his goddamn guts. And we have to deal with that for a while. Dude, and like The Rock tells this whole backstory. The brother, by the way, is played by the great Cliff Curtis. Uh, and, and The Rock's mother, by the way, there's no way she's old enough to be his mother. She is like yeah. the same age as him, this woman. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb. Uh <laughs> Elaine Stritch comes out. <laughs> Welcome home, Sonny. Oh, God. What, is she fucking Tarkin Town? Yes. <laughs> She's been dead Tarkin. for years. Tarkin up a stretch. <laughs> they should seriously put her in Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> General. She's drunk. <laughs> uh, no, so he explains uh, to, to Hattie, like, yeah. here's the deal. Uh, my father was like this criminal. He got me and Cliff Curtis involved, and I realized like he didn't give a shit if we went to jail for this stuff. Ugh. And you know, it was a really bad deal. He was gonna pull off some scam, and I fucking turned him in. He went to jail. Oh my and god! And I left. Will you, will you just talk about your balls again? <laughs> oh gonna, my god! Because again, like this is a whole new conflict we're introducing in the in the second half of the movie. Like, yeah, we paid some lip service in the beginning where it's like, you know, I don't I don't talk to my family that much. Not something that needs to be explored in such a detail. Because the daughter has a photograph yes. of Hobbes like when he was younger and she's like, who's this other guy? Was that your brother? Yeah, you know, why have I uh, never met him? Oh, yeah, wow. and it's like, oh man, this is a crazy thing about my family. The funny thing is like, so we're going around Samoa. One of the guys in the, in the, in all, it's like, all, it's like Cliff Curtis, the mother and a bunch of brothers. One of which is Roman Reigns who is actually the rock cousin correct yeah another another somewhat famous a very famous wrestler if you're aware now but yeah i think he, he's a big dude does he even still wrestle uh. but he he was at least <laughs> so a he no longer guy. reigns <laughs> oh jeez but because it's dude. all king corbin I, now right chris yes <laughs> one guy is wearing a hat that just says samoa on it at all times and it cracked me up because it's just like remember we're in samoa Remember? That's like like <laughs> you're presenting like oh here's an authentic New York character who's wearing a fucking New York tourist hat you could buy on 42nd Street. Yeah, just but, to remember where you are. I just wish I was in every sequence like there's just some guy in Ukraine with a Ukraine hat on. <laughs> that's where we are. <laughs> but so the thing that's really dumb about this is The Rock has suggested they fly all the way to Samoa, waste 2 days to get this thing fixed because the brother who we're told is just an auto mechanic. Yes, he's a mechanical genius. Can Ugh. fix this science fiction device. Because he's a wizard. You might, well, a wizard would make more sense, and you might as well, instead <laughs> of having planes, just have rune stones where you cast <laughs> yes. the prior location. You could just like transport via the rune stone. Dude, could you imagine how fucking jet lagged you'd be after 30 something hours on a fucking plane? Oh, and you're is. like, just like, you know what, dude? I need a whole day to sleep. And I need yeah. a shower. I once took a 22 hour flight. There's no way I could get into a car chase afterwards. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Yeah, just kill me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just got off oh, wait, the plane. The only way me. we're going to get out of this is to go to Samoa. You could shoot me right in the fucking head. <laughs> and nothing against Samoa, but it's 39 hours away, and I'd rather be dead. I don't want to see whatever that fucking thing in her body is going to do. So, There's nothing uh, in Poland. We can't just go to Poland, which is like two and a half hours away. We can't just do that. Hell, I could walk that. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's like there's a big confrontation with The Rock and Cliff Curtis. Cliff Curtis punches him in the face as revenge for you know abandoning the family, this, yeah. that, and the other thing. And then Mama Hobbs is like not having it. She's like, you know, your family. And this is the insane. I had you when I was one and a half years old. This is ridiculous. <laughs> he's like, he's like, listen, Mama, I'm sorry to like bring my baggage, you know, to our our land and whatever, but. There's like this whole army of super soldiers coming, and I, I just, I thought I'd after a quarter of a century, uh, come home and bring this to your soil now. And she's, he's like, where are our weapons? Because we've got a lot of weapons. And again, this is all in the trailer. Yep. Where and she opens it up, and it's a bunch of like, you know. Uh, Bats with nails in them and like you know obviously Tradition, probably tr traditional traditional, traditional Samoan bats weapons. with nails in them they're like actual like Samoan weapons yeah, enslave like, humanity will ya it's a fucking Mo Sislak hey hey ma where's my brother Negan <laughs> <laughs> but and he's like no guns and again this is and this, and she's like no we will do it the old way again all in the trailer yep yep so the rocks like you know oh, hey fellas I guess we're going old school. 
And there's a montage of them just, like, getting ready to set a trap for these guys. And they're like, oh, you know what's a cool idea? Their guns are um, computerized for no reason. Mm -hmm. And if we can hack that, yeah. then we'll even the playing field. Oh, so, like, right. Isaac Kirby hacks the guns. Uh, you know what? I'm glad you're telling me because I don't remember this happening. Yep. This is the whole thing is, like... Well, how are we going to get rid of the guns? And because earlier in the film, Vanessa Kirby tries to shoot Idris in the face. Yeah, right, right, right. And right. he's like, "You got to activate the gun with a chip or like whatever." Yeah. So she's hacking Which is the a guns. Plot of, there was some other movie. Oh, of course, this, right. I mean, what was it? Judge Dredd, maybe. Judge, Judge Dredd, Dredd, yes, yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can do that. Um. So yeah, this whole thing's going down, and like it's a it's a really big you know we're getting ready to save the day montage here, and they cut to. Like just some of the characters like just saying lines every now and again. They fucking cut to Dwayne Johnson. And I got I gotta tell you right now, I was cackling, laughing at this line. And it's unfortunate because like I since I follow him on social media sure. and stuff, I know like how pumped he was to have this part of the movie go down yeah, of course. with his heritage and everything. But he just has a line. I think he's talking to Shaw, mm -hmm. uh Jason Statham Shaw. Yes. And he goes, Who'd have thought this is where we were going to save the world? <laughs> yeah. And he's like looking out over the, the majesty that is Samoa. And dude, I was just laughing. Because <laughs> you're saying save the world the hundredth time. And again, yeah. who'd have you know, thought? The, the way to do that is a movie called Samoan Sheriff. And it's right. The Rock on Samoa. Right. And it's a totally different movie. And, and it, it fucking rules. kicks ass. It fucking rules, man, <laughs> Samoan Sheriff. Taika Watiti is his deputy. Sure. <laughs> There you sure. go. Maybe just God. remake Walking Tall in Samoa, which I know he did. <laughs> Yeah, but do it, it again. well. Yes. Yeah, in uh, Samoa. Yeah. I um, caught part of that on TV recently, and it was terrible. Oh, his walking yeah. Was that still during his film career where he was still pretending he had hair? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It just looks like painted yeah. on. But yep. that was the beginning of him being like, no, nah, we're not doing this hair thing. But that was also <laughs> the start of like him really getting into movies, right? This and was the, like his The Marine. And the yeah. tail end of the Johnny Knoxville experiment in films. <laughs> oh, he was trying that for a while, wasn't he? <laughs> the Johnny Knoxville experience. <laughs> JKX, dude. It Whoa, was it's like, the same thing. Ew. No, it was more like, it's more like the Manhattan Project. So many people died. <laughs> the amount of devastation. Oh, no, and you're thinking about at the uh, Jamie Kennedy experience. <laughs> experience or experiment? It was an experiment. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it a, it's also an experience. It's not, not a, a good failure. one. Uh, so they're going to they're gonna create what they call a kill box. Sure. And Statham kind of has some line. And Dwayne Johnson, once again, the island will provide, uh -huh. brother. He says it, to Statham. Because, again, it's now this is a movie about Samoa, which is fine, but it's mm -hmm. not this movie. And Well, we're on island time now, which means the <laughs> 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 the virus is it's a third act is now 70 minutes. But speaking of slowing stuff down, though, this are, after this montage is sort of like crested, it ends with there is this hilariously long copter shot of Dwayne Johnson walking to Vanessa Kirby. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, so cut to the conversation. Nope. Just he's still walking. Ooh. We're still flying yeah. in the air. Film it's it goes. It's like a twenty second shot. It should be no more than five. What I'm saying is <laughs> that I love you. I think. <laughs> but then they have this conversation, uh, and she kind of like kisses him right here. Yeah. There's a little Aww. bit of something going on, and then mm. she's like, "No, no, no, uh, that's never going to happen again." Kind of a thing. But she's I was little, like, "Dude, we'll talk get about it. if we get through this kind of a thing." Uh, yeah, we'll see if we live to see tomorrow because they're talking about like this could be the last sunset we yeah. ever see. And there's oh. like 40 minutes left, and Clifton Cliff Curtis figures out how to solve the fucking thing. Right? Oh yay! And he, he just like rebuilds a bunch of parts with a 3D printer. But yeah. unfortunately, it summons the Cenobites. <laughs> oh, damn it. I they had would, it. I had the machine switch to Cenobites. They would be awesome in Fast and the Furious because like they could throw their chains onto these cars. Would you it? like to race deliciously? <laughs> yeah, is it a Dragula? Oh my god. If at the end of this movie Vin Diesel looks like Pinhead and you're like, what happened? And like, Dude, oh, see you in the next movie to find out. I you... went to the uh, Atlanta Olympics when Richard Drew was fucking a security guard and all the pins went in my head. Yeah. <laughs> That's for Chris. That's a long walk. I, <laughs> wow, yeah, that, that was a long uh, look. Did you hurt yourself with that stretch? You're talking no. about helicopter shots. I saw that thing. I I'm like, just make out already. I enjoy, you know, I, I, sometimes it's about the journey. Yeah. Uh, so then, like, whatever. It fucking goes down, dude. They, go, they, yeah, they show, show up. up. They Their guns get hacked. Vanessa Kirby has this impossible sh machine 
ha- tied to her. Again, she is the suitcase full of money that we're trying to get. In yeah, this right, movie. Yeah. absolutely. And she's carrying the machine like a suitcase. Yeah, she's dragging her fucking. Everybody. She's dragging her fucking dialysis machine with her. There's some stupid thing where like um, Vanessa Kirby's like, "Shouldn't I be hidden and out of the way?" And then like I think it's uh, Stan's like, "No, I want you close on the front lawn of the action." I'm like, well, actually, that doesn't make any sense because yes, I'm getting a medical procedure done right now. Yeah. So I need to be in a bed. I need and to like really put this to- woman in a fucking basement and lock the door. Also, Deckard. Yeah. It's a matter of time. She's got 20 minutes and this thing is over with. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There's would... still time to kill her and burn her body. There is that. <laughs> right? Which there is, is what that. Eddie Marsan is strongly recommending they do from the jump. Right? I Did would Eddie Marsan get burned by a oh, he does get no, burned by the flamethrower. No? Dude, it is so it's fucking blink you miss it. Idris Elba is racing after Hobbs and Shaw and Shaw's. Uh, and he just quickly is like, all right, then, and breaks his neck oh, right. and just keeps going. Yeah. Totally unceremonious kill. <laughs> Pretty funny, though. Marston he- gets the flamethrower back on him at some point. Oh, yeah, he yeah, tries so he to starts, get him. He's like flaming uh, Idris Elba and stuff. That's cool. It's yeah, fine. that's fine. And uh, so, yeah, this big fight. And also, like, Idris Elba, who is very good in movies, is not good in this because the movie doesn't allow him to do anything. No, like, it's he's like a he's great, but he's never gotten a good part. Really, no, he's never he really had a part has in a movie, which those, is kind of a shame. Those fucking Marvel movies, like he's in all the Thor ones or whatever. Like he's that's in a, a waste. Ghost Rider movie. Oh right, total waste. He did a Thriller with um oh, oh was it the what, did, wasn't he in the movie with Beyonce? Was that yes. him? He was in he was in two Thriller, yeah, the Beyonce Thriller, the uh, the one with uh, Catherine Heigl, where oh, she's trying to fuck him. That's obsession. Obsession Idris is in that movie. Yes. Idris is okay. the husband, and he is with no uh, final destination. What's her name? Ali Larder. Ali Larder. Oh, Ali Larder. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's right. I mean, just give him like an something like nice and restrained. Like I would watch Idris Elba in like The American, that George oh, sure. Clooney oh, movie, sure. or well, what I think happened, wire esque type of thing. Stuff like that would be great. But the thing I think that happened was is that somebody said. A good idea. Idris Elba should be James Bond, sure. and then he thought, "I'll just take movies that are kind of like James Bond." Yeah, forever. Except for they all suck. <laughs> I would watch him in a drama, like just whatever. Yeah. Like, oh no, the the oh no, we lost the kid movie. I'll watch that movie. Wait, no, he came, he came out with some oh no, I lost the kid movie, didn't he? Or was it a pl- no? It was a plane crash movie. Plane crash movie with Kate Winslet. Yes, uh, yes, the, mountain the mountain between yes. us. But no one yeah. saw that. No, 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 no nobody saw that. that movie. I'm trying to find what the fuck movie. What was this? The Ghost Rider sexy thriller though. Spirit obsession of obsession or obsessed? Yeah. Well, because he had so. There was no good deed oh, with that's... him, Taraji P. Henson, Leslie Bibb. Got it. Uh, there's that. Uh, but I'm like, Obsession, you think it's called? Obsessed, maybe? Uh, I swear. Had... That's just Look at Beyonce's uh, fucking filmography. It's like five entries. Yeah, I so. guess that's true. Oh, he's also, like, he was, like, totally fine in Pacific Rim, I guess, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, Pacific yeah. Was good. He was good in that. We're canceling the apocalypse. That's the thing is he needs to be, like, a president. <laughs> Like he's good in that kind of like oh, sure. I'm the leader type role, like a right. Bill Pullman type. Let's get everybody together. Right, 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 right. right I mean, right. he would have worked in like Woody Harrelson's role in in that Planet of the Apes movie or sure. something. He could have been in a general. He could have been. A, the movie is called Obsessed. It's from 2009. Oh, okay. Um, it's yeah. Um, but also like he could have been in a Star Wars movie. I'll watch that. Oh, definitely. Oh, Idris Elba in the Star. Yeah, Wars? like if yeah, he was yeah, in yeah, like totally. like. I, I like Diego Luna in the movie, but if he was in Rogue One, like Snap and Stormtrooper decks, yeah. like I'm cool with it. You know Fuck, that would be cool. He was a good villain in Star Trek Three. I thought he was pretty. Yeah, awesome. Oh yes, you're right. Yeah, he's excellent in that. He's yeah. good in that. that. I think we found it. We found the one. That's there the good is. one. <laughs> so, um, anyways, but not in this movie because he's barely in it. And when he's in it, he goes oi 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 and like fights people, <laughs> and like so. This is the very long. There's a lot of we're fighting with the island weapons, and then there's this big helicopter it's the last level uh this is each, definitely a video game situation yeah, the, the helicopter's flashing red <laughs> the get um vanessa kirby he steals the suitcase that is vanessa kirby and puts her into this helicopter they're trying to fly away and now hobbs and shaw are after her they're working together fucking mm-hmm. finally yeah now it's not a damsel in distress it's a virus. In <laughs> and at one point in this very long, really long protracted chase sequence, there's a chain on the helicopter. We're doing all sorts of stuff. The Rock 
is pulling yep. down a helicopter with his very strong arms. I'm yep. sorry, dude. That's getting ripped off. That is getting ripped off like yeah. anyone's arm. Yep. Yeah. It's it's pretty dumb. Also, you want to talk about the bad editing in this movie. There's a fucking line where you don't even know the end of the sentence. Like, he's arguing with Idris Elba, like, via truck to helicopter yeah. or whatever. And he goes, welcome to my island, you. And it just cuts. And I'm like, what is any of that? I think that's a... That's a um, we thought that was going to be the F word, but we decided to use it earlier. Like it was one of those like, right. And, or are we going to go R with this? Or are we not? So right. there's probably a lot of like, welcome to my Island motherfucker or something like you fucking asshole. Yeah. Or yeah. Something. <laughs> and then like, they're like, we got to cut that. Cause it doesn't work. And now yeah. it's just uh welcome to my Island. You, <laughs> you, you I'm there. could have cut the entire thing or maybe cut the, you That's out. The, it doesn't even, like, it's not essential to this no. chase scene, so it doesn't matter. It's just weird. And then it just cuts because we have to make time for Dwayne Johnson's cartoon to fucking fly off this cliff. I mean, yeah. there is some really bad CGI around here. And obviously, you're not going to dangle trucks off a cliff via But also, the, the, all these other, like, all the other Samoan guys get in cars and they're like, yep. let's do it, guys, for Samoa or whatever we're saying. And we're all, and like, all like together. in. Yeah, we're linking cars in very impossible ways. And we bring this helicopter down. Then it starts to rain because it's another movie altogether. Yeah. Here's the thing. We're Roman told. <laughs> it's, it's Roman raining outside. <laughs> <laughs> We're told at the beginning of this whole thing that the strategy is you get the enemy. Like you start your attack right before sunrise. Yes. So it's like the enemy's tired and off balance. Uh. And then, like, the sun is rising and in their face, and you got the sun at your back to attack these dudes. That's the whole thing. So we're told it's fucking dawn, yeah. right? This whole chase happens. They fall off this cliff. All the other Samoan dudes get away. Like, they're all safe. The helicopter and Hobbs and Shaw's car go off this cliff. They fall down into this pit. It looks like where, like, the dark side hole was in Last Jedi. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you went right to it. <laughs> anyway. You didn't even hesitate. You didn't even try to fight it. All of a sudden, we're on an alien planet because it's, <laughs> it's fucking dark outside. Yes. It's raining. Like, mm -hmm. you can't and now, like guess, the scene this way. Guess what, dudes? The Predator's here. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, Russell Crowe is trying to get on his little flying thing and get out of Krypton. <laughs> the dragon that he's got? Yeah, it I is I just couldn't Krypton believe dragon. how drastically different it's lit because nothing matters in this movie. This movie, like, if you take four seconds to think about logistics, someone's like, shut up. Yeah. Like, no, I want it to be raining. Well, it doesn't make sense because if you think about it, for, no, no, shut up. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> well, hold on. Okay, they can't go to Samoa. They're in the Ukraine. There's I love 40 minutes left of the movie. Coherence is too much to ask for. Well, that's... <laughs> ever since I heard Ben Affleck's uh, 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 commentary for uh, Armageddon, where yeah. he says, like, Michael Bay just dumb. You know what, Ben? Shut up. Yeah. I do hear that all the time. Yes, like, whenever a movie like this is just way overblown, you just hear, you know what, Ben? Shut up. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can't go to Samoa. There's only four. Just shut, shut up. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. It's it's just, shut up. We want to go to Samoa. Insane. It's fine. So they realize the way to beat him is again to work together. And the whole thing is like, all right, one of us will like eat shit and take a hit from him. And then the other person secretly comes up alongside him and, and clocks him or whatever. And it's like rock'em, sock'em robots, vision, like yep. stupid, like I'm slow-mo. Identifying target. Block, 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 oh, block, yes. Block, well, block, yeah, block, you block, get back block, into block, his, block. you get his like Terminator vision. Yeah. Video game vision also. Yeah, like incoming attack, you know, yeah. assault imminent. I am whatever. a hungry, hungry hippo. <laughs> I will eat these balls. <laughs> <laughs> and Vanessa Kirby dispatches the last goon and removes the virus from herself yep yeah she gets that all out and it's totally fine sure which, and then you know. they, they like beat him and deckard is about shaw is about to kill him again and he's like you want me to kill you don't you but i'm not gonna let you because i'm a good guy now <laughs> oh by the way and you killed my brother luke evans who wasn't in any of me flashbacks <laughs> yeah like you couldn't have gotten a third little kid that's also part of it and or they're like you know, ever since Luke Evans died, it's been the family's been dead. like something. <laughs> was he at least like maybe a half brother that they didn't live together growing Possibly. up? No, they were They're real brothers. brothers. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Cabin, do you remember no. what the deal is though with how Luke Evans eats it in that movie? Because what Deckard says to Idris in this movie is, "You made me kill my own brother," which I I, I don't remember. I forget what went exactly, down there. but he does. I, I'm I'm ninety percent sure he's actually dead. Yeah. Well, uh, isn't he in? The Fest, Fest 8, too? 
Did they break him? No, they didn't. Was did they? Oh, yes. Aliens? Isn't that the thing in Fast oh, 8? It's like, he's oh, alive he's again. not dead? But then he... I don't remember. Then he dies in eight again. Jesus Christ! I, I really don't know. Because it's like, know. oh, brothers working together. It's like, right, brother. Because look, and they're they're both working for her, uh, Charlize Theron, for a minute, but then they're not. But also, they're like, it. There's really this in this. They don't talk about it too much, but in this franchise, they really do have a syndicate going on. Because the villain in number four was hired by the Shaw brothers. Sure, it turns out, and that's how they oh, bring the them. Oh, the Shaw in. brothers, good stuff, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Hong Kong. Yeah. I oh, wish. yeah. I wish God. those Shaw Brothers. He. Yeah. Luke Evans is in the Fate of the Furious from yeah. 2017. Yeah. He dies again, I guess. And uh, but he doesn't kill him. And then the director's like, "I will initiate your self-destruct protocol." But if they do that, he needs Idris Elba needs to laugh like the Predator. If that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's kind of a weird thing though because in his terminator <sighs> visor he sees the thing that's like shut down imminent yeah and it's like closing windows for the day <laughs> and he just kind of he just drops just that noise. Boom, <laughs> and he dies he falls into the sea he does. he does. He falls right into the water. Which Back to the sea where he came from. What yeah. a, a sea monster. Shitty villain. What a Awful. shitty villain. Yeah. 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 I mean, what a shitty movie, honestly. Like, if this movie <laughs> wasn't so overstuffed stuffed, and they gave Idris more shit to do, more, yeah. I don't know. It, there might have been Agency. Something. And also, yes. like, anytime it's like, I'm actually the number two for the real, real villain, well, I oh, don't care God. anymore. Well, yep. Like, immediately, I don't care anymore. Because yep. you don't have that. That allows you to not give them any character because you're like, this isn't the real one. Exactly. We're saving it for the sequel, you guys. Also, yeah. the one thing I will say about this movie, and it happens right now, so there's... They save the day. They're all like, oh, man, I need a vacation. Whatever they're talking about. Yeah. And immediately The Rock is like, well, thanks for being my sidekick in this movie. And, oh. and, it's like, and then like um, Jason Statham says, and I, I, I never knew I needed to hear him say this. He goes, <laughs> well, yeah, you know, you're my sidekick, actually. You know, Batman had Robin, Han Solo had Chewbacca. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck, Jason Statham just said Chewbacca. <laughs> Yeah, so that's kind of all I needed. Yeah, Chew like, Becca. Chew Becca. <laughs> Chew Becca. <laughs> also, Chew it's very important. Becca to the left. We <laughs> we have the sequel set up here where the uh, whatever. The God, God, director. I'm going to get you hack. next time, guys. He fucking ha- he hacks this fucking, like, downed chopper. Like, yeah. he hacks the radio system and gives this whole thing about, like, Hobbs and Shaw, you're on our radar now. By the way, large stack of pancakes. Am I giving away any hints yet? Yeah, it's me, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> well, and then the four, there's like three stinger scenes. Four. Or we t- there's four. There's four? It's four. Okay. <sighs> so we see, so it goes to credits. By the way, hilariously, both uh, Johnson uh, and Statham are producers <laughs> on this movie. Oh, yeah. Dwayne Johnson uh, in the PGA. Oh, good for uh, you. Which was nice to see. Uh, but yeah, so congrats. Credits like kind of hit, and then it's like, oh, first stinger scene is you see them like reuniting their families. So like Hobbs uh, takes his daughter to Samoa, and he's mm. like, "This is your grandmother." Kind of a nice little scene. Yeah, sure. She gives her a big hug, and then like there's this uh, earlier in the movie, like um, Helen Mirren's in prison, and she's like, "I don't want to break out." Did you bring the cake? And he's like. Hey mom, I brought you a cake. We break it, yeah, a prison. Right. And she's like, uh, you know, so excited to see the, the two of them the, the together. Two of them back together. And she's like, All right, I'll see you kids in a few minutes. Like she's gonna immediately break out of jail. And I'm like, I don't know, show me that. That sounds like it's pretty cool. The second stinger is Jason Statham at a bar and the rock calls the police on him, right? Yes, and yes. it's it's one of the uh uh alternate identities that they're yelling into the bar about. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, it's it's like IP freely, get out of here. Yeah. Like whatever uh, it is. Okay. So Mr. then he, what is it? Mr. Balls, will you please come out? <laughs> but it's ridiculous because like Jason Statham walks out on this like London street corner and there's like twelve cops there, and he's like this isn't going to end the way you boys think it's going to. And I'm like, I don't know, with the police shooting you to death right now? Like, <laughs> come on. That's a great way to end this movie. Uh. It's like the end of training. Day. It's fucking destroyed <laughs> by 12 machine guns. Oh, the rock. I got shot 12 times. I got bruises all over me. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, we also get the fucking more Game of Thrones jokes. Ryan, Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds calls back. Oh. Well, this is the one that takes fucking forever. 
forever. It really yep. takes forever. It's just like him, and it's like he's he's Ryan Reynoldsing all over. He's like, I'm bleeding to death. You need to listen to me. Blah blah blah. And like this is when he really spoils the end of Game of Thrones too, which is, it was only like whatever July or something. So it was like a month and a right. half after. Like if no, like, if people were trying to catch up, no, people were literally pissed about. It. Really? Is that I was, right? I was reading about it on IMDb, so you know, oh. and salt. but like yeah, if you're just like. You know, maybe you just started Game of Thrones and you just want to like get your kind of sure. catching up or blah blah blah. And then like Ryan Reynolds is like, so Jon Snow, uh, spoiler by the way, Jon Snow just fucks his aunt and then kills her. What the fuck's that about, man? <laughs> I think there's talk about this where like, oh, I killed the guy with a the brick. There's a new virus that instead of melting your insides, melts your outsides, and it's like huh. it feels like it's the obvious like another sequel like set- oh, yeah. sequel setup type of thing. But, also but then it diffuses, and then it sounds like he was making it up. It, exactly. Yes. That's, that's the problem when you're when you're like your character is just making up funny things to say in the second at the expense of all reality. This is where right. I feel like he's fucking saying funny lines. He's just improving or whatever, and it's just like, did they really use the entire thing? Yes. <laughs> you know? like, yeah. Exactly. Like I thought, I was good. you were to use one or two of those. Yep. No, Ryan, don't turn off the spigot. Just keep going, baby. <laughs> oh, man, it's just gold. Everything he says is so <laughs> fucking funny. And it's 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 because of Deadpool. Oh, now yeah. that we're being oversaturated with Ryan Reynolds, who I do genuinely like and stuff. I do. I think he's fine. I but like, like those two but, Deadpool but, movies. But, but you got to cut that improv down, dude. You know, I'm much. sorry. Wouldn't fucking Judd Apatow direct this? Like, come <laughs> on. Also, by the way, the name that uh, Hobbs calls in when uh, Shaw's in that bar is Hugh Janus. Mm. Oh, by the way, uh, if, if uh, Judd Apatow directed this, it would be an, another hour to the yeah. runtime. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Bana comes in at the end. Well, you got to get Les- <laughs> well, Leslie Mann needs at least 40 solid. I'll admit it. Yeah, I know. She she needs work, you know. But it's also so we've deduced not deduced, we've discovered in looking at the credits that he's credited as playing like the director yeah. of this evil agency, doing the voice for it and whatever. Um and I guess he was given he's credited under a different yeah. name is the whole thing. But like if that's the case and he's crooked and whatever else, why is he doing this thing where he's Fucking with him with Game of Thrones and no, then it's literally. I don't think it's supposed to be Ryan Reynolds. You know what I mean? It's not. So, or, or maybe they'll go that way because the voice is modulated. They can just cast whomever they want. It could be F. Murray Abraham the next movie. You know what I mean? Like, but why would you bother having Ryan Reynolds do that then? Though? Great question. I mean, because he's around. Yeah, like so. buds with the rock, I guess. Just as much as um, as much Reynolds as you can get in your movie, I guess. <laughs> just fucking yeah. You want to do a voice? We got an answering machine. You want to do the voice for that too? <laughs> Uh yeah his oh we never actually mentioned but I guess his character's name is Locke oh, yeah. okay mention that I don't know um <laughs> it doesn't matter it he's doesn't just, matter at all mm-hmm. because his character doesn't matter and the movie doesn't matter just, the movie's over with he's Rob just Del- driving around talking about getting a divorce <laughs> <laughs> Rob Delaney what is uh is Loeb Locke and Loeb oh, yeah. oh, oh Locke and Loeb there you there, go there's your next movie. <laughs> Uh, would anybody recommend this movie, though? Not in a million years. I found this a totally nihilistic slog. <laughs> just, it, just, it believes in nothing. Nothing matters. The tension is diffused at every turn. By cut just off fucking, your Johnson. <laughs> just, just snappy dialogue at the expense. Like, if the one-liner works and destroys the whole movie, fuck the movie. Yep. Because the one-liner is going to work. Yeah. I, I Despise this movie and like Eric, I despise this franchise. Thank you. <laughs> Who's Johnson, dude? <laughs> <laughs> this is also a uh, marmot in the county. Anyway, anyway, we'll do Big Lebowski one day on WLM. <laughs> sure. Uh, this is an incredibly numbing experience. <laughs> like I just sat there being like, this is still happening, and like nothing was registering. Chris, can uh, I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Were your nuts numb? <laughs> They were not. They were actually the one thing. They were throbbing at the time. Um, God almighty. That's, I mean, that's, put that on the poster. Dwayne Johnson makes my balls throb. <laughs> How do your balls throb? I didn't, that's never happened to me. You bend over and we'll show you. I yeah, guess so. You got to be in the club. Baby. I mean, I mean, look, after they've been kicked, they'll throb. But, sure. you know. Oh, no, like this is pleasure throb. throb. Oh, okay, pleasure we throb. We do have two narts kicks in this movie at the start. In their, like, here's how our days are starting Oh, off. right. They both use ball kicks to start the fight with the people they're going at. So it's like someone wearing like a stiletto stepping on you. Yeah. There you go, Eric. Anyway, are you done? I am done. Are you sure? (laughs) I am. That's what I was asking the movie last night, actually. (laughs) Uh, uh, Well, now I can get off your nuts. Um, Anyway. um, Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. I agree with Steve that this is a piece of shit. I mean, we all all kind of think that way. Yeah, it's a piece (laughs) of shit. If this was 90 minutes... Fine. Just buddy comedy yep. shit. 
you know, I you could maybe even edit this down to being a coherent film. I and Steve's right how they they go for the jokes to un, and it undermines the movie, but it doesn't matter because their audience is too fucking dumb shit on fucking buttered popcorn and <laughs> and Dr Pepper. See? My my friends have turned against me. <laughs> See, come around to my thinking. And it's just like. Ah, I I can't stand it. I honestly can't stand it. I don't think you should watch it if you haven't watched it. And it is uh, one of my least favorite films I saw last year. Yeah. And, you know, like I've said, there are some of these movies in this franchise I like. This really is just nothing. It comes to. And it's unfortunate because I like both of the stars. Yeah. Uh, I like Vanessa Kirby in the Mission Impossible sure. movies. So, like, it, it was. And cool Elvis, great, you know, he's, and Idris, too. Like, a big fan of Idris, man. Nothing comes together here. It's way too long for no fucking reason. And also, I'm not averse to liking mindless action. A few weeks back, I recommended American Mike 3 to the world. <laughs> like, uh-huh. go watch Angel has Fallen over this. It's infinitely better. I agree with that. A big better. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know, and it's also just, you know, a sequel from a fucking tired franchise, but somehow it's better. And it's it doesn't cross the two hour mark. And, you know, a, a, a totally mindless movie that I loved last year was Crawl. Like yeah, crawl is exactly it's like it's not and it's not mindless mindless but it's like there's no there's nothing to it it's about yeah. a, a a woman in a house with her father and a fucking bunch of cool alligators and shit oh there's happen- more than one oh there's a couple yeah, alligators you should watch it it's, it's, it's um, like and that's like like people are like, are I like some, to turn my brain off and go to the movies turn your brain off and go see crawl yeah there are some logic problems with crawl sure but it is an engaging experience yes. And I'm just waiting for the day when we can have fucking Samoan Sheriff, dude. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes I would love that it. movie will rule. I guarantee Ooh, it. Walking ball. <laughs> walking bald. <laughs> there we there go. it is. There's the movie. <laughs> that is Fast and Furious presents Colin Hobbs and Shaw, directed by David Leach. Uh, if you want more We Hate Movies, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash We Hate Movies. Uh, this may be the end of our worst of 2019 month, but don't worry about it because We Hate Movies. We'll be back next week, as always. Steve Sadek, what are we chatting about then? We are, we are as a movie, really turning our screws on the adoption process because we're watching <laughs> Orphan. <laughs> the 2009 horror thriller type yes. of thing. Yeah, yeah. with uh, Vera Formiga and Peter Sarsgaard. It's a, it's a blast. It's a blast. It's a yeah. weird fucking movie. I've it's never a seen weird it. fucking movie. Very weird movie. Never seen it. I'm pretty excited about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so until next week with The Orphan, I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Chris Cabin. Eric Sisk. Take it easy. That was a HeadGum Podcast. <laughs>